Center on Neville Island. It's the Penguins Cup Hockey Playoff Game between Katanning and Peters Township. This program sponsored by Foodland, Bauer Funeral Home, White's Antiques, Lane Smith's Healthcare, Merchants Bank, Schreiber's Rotation, Armstrong Finance, Roof's Appliances, Katanning Realty, ESS Insurance, Nody Chevrolet, Dr. Kirk Weber, Merch 66 Cafe, and DR Warner Candidate for Commissioner. Patronize these fine sponsors of Katanning Hockey on Family Life TV Katanning, your local family station. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, family Life TV is about this afternoon to uh, bring you Katanning playoff hockey action, the AAA championship game between Katanning High School and Peter Township High School. Um, Jeff Morrow is uh, with us again this week, and uh, he has a guest. Well, I promised Jim King that I'd wear my Franklin Regional jersey just for good luck for Katanning today because they defeated us in double overtime up at the Belmont, and we were talking a lot about it last week. Then Katanning goes on, defeats Thomas Jefferson, Double overtime again, Jeff Nolan. Uh, with us this afternoon is Jeff Nolan. He's from the Breakaway Hockey Network and the expert on <laughs> Eastern Pennsylvania hockey. And he's going to be here to talk a little bit about what's going on out that way. Uh, we have a Flyers Cup final of Holy Ghost Prep. Yeah, we're all set for a double light right all now. Holy um, Ghost and uh, Westchester Henderson out of the Intercounty. Mm -hmm. And uh, as if the people who folks at Catanning don't know, Ron Steedle and I were up there for the Indiana game, and I happened to park my truck in the creek there at the Belmont to get it nice and dirty so that when Jeff Nolan sees the Catanning Wildcats in Westchester next week, then he's going to be coming back to Catanning to the Belmont to wash my truck after they defeat Holy Ghost Pretch. You're a very confident man right now, and that's fine, but when we bring you out east to Ice Line at Westchester, you might be singing a different tune, but you'll definitely be carrying a car wash rag. Oh, yeah? Yes. Well, it might be a Holy Ghost jersey. Let me tell you something. First of all, Holy Ghost has got to get there. They've got to take on Westchester Henderson, a team that has been in big games before. They just got beat, uh, done beating a very offensive-minded team in Lower Dauphin. They've really got their work cut out on Tuesday night against Holy Ghost because when you talk about Holy Ghost, you talk about offense. You talk about two guys, Ryan Gunderson and Paul Worthington. Gunderson's a senior, Worthington is a junior. They have combined, Jeff, for more than 230 points to date so far. Okay, so that, that means that this is practice here this afternoon with Peter Stonship for Katina. Well, I'll tell you what, if one thing that Peters is going to have to do, they're going to have to contend with more than just Gunderson and Worthington because there's a lot of depth on this Holy Ghost team. Well, we aren't done yet because we just saw Westmont defeat the four-time defending right. state champion Sarah Catholic Eagles, and maybe it's a time for a change. It, you know, it, it, this is that was a great ending to the first game, kind of like a Cinderella ending and Contanning and Peters in game number two. That's the great thing about this sport, that you really do chuck all the records out the window when it comes to the playoffs because the emotional level is something that people don't understand. Absolutely. And these kids, they play their hearts out. For, for Katanning, Adam Toy has been just marvelous in this playoffs. Uh, we go back to the first game. He shut out Montour 4-0. Uh, then he moved on, and they, we had a packed house up at the Belmont in the game that uh, Dave called with Jim King. Uh, and the hearts had to be going that day, Dave, right? Uh, a little bit. Uh, 44 shots. Adam stopped uh, 42 of them. And then we went back for double overtime against Thomas Jefferson. And believe me when I tell you that one of the greatest goaltending performances by two goalies that I've seen in a long, long time. And you know I've seen a lot of games. And Katanning seems to be that team that, you know, do they have one more left in them? I think they do. But they're going to be facing a powerhouse here. And what I call, I think, the number one team in the state at any level, triple A, double A, or single A, Peters Township. Indians. Well, the one thing you have to look at is the pressure factor, and the pressure factor really lies on Peters Township because they come back as the defending not only Penguin Cup champion, but state champion as they just roll through Archbishop Carroll last year. Catanning right now, they wear the slipper. Can they put it on? Does it fit? Are they Cinderella tonight? Hey, baby. And I'll tell you what, that's a good place to be sometimes because if you don't have the pressure, you don't expect to lose anything, and uh, that's not a bad place for Catanning to be right now. Well, I had an interesting uh visit with some of the Catanning players. I've coached them in Keystone games, uh, and I've known uh, Al Stipp and Jeff Smouse for a long time. They have a different demeanor to them, Jeff, uh, these kids. And uh, 
they're saying let's bring on the world beaters. Uh, they are willing and they're going to put their best game on the ice here this afternoon. And if it's good enough, they are going to go to the state finals. If it's not good enough, they will have given their best. And I know that, that a lot of longtime Belmont people up there have been waiting for this for a long time. It's been 1991, I believe, since Armstrong Central, the part of the Catanning, went to the state finals. They lost to Con uh, Council Rock. Um, for those folks, this is warming their heart right now. And uh, I'm sure when they watch the replay of that TJ game the other night, they're getting very excited about what's going to happen here this afternoon. Right. And it's, we're talking about the emotions of it. Um, and these kids have played their hearts out, and we've seen it year after year. And as you know, you and I have been covering this for uh, several years now. And uh, this is really exciting for these kids, and uh, we want to wish the best of luck to Peter's Township this afternoon. And then we're going to be on to Westchester next week. <laughs> and you and I are going to renew. I talked to Coach Tibbles this morning, and he, you know Coach Tibbles. He doesn't have any predictions whatsoever. He's just hoping that his team gets there, uh, which is Coach Tibble. But you are his public relations guy. <laughs> so we want to get that clear. Well, let everybody just know. so you can tanning and let everybody time. know. This is Brian Tibble, Holy Ghost. Right, Holy Ghost head coach. Holy Ghost head coach. I am his, his PR, PR man. guy. D most definitely. I believe I believe in his coaching philosophy. I believe his instruction on the kids. I believe that the education is in the first and foremost important thing, and hockey comes second. But it's amazing how he combines both those to put a, a tremendous hockey team on the ice. Okay, we're going to throw it back to Dave Bowser over here. Dave uh, has been with the Catanning program for a long time. Uh, he's involved with their developmental program as a coach. Uh, and, and believe me, they've done a fine job up there in, in uh, Catanning. And uh, we're looking forward to this one this afternoon. Peter Township, Catanning, ready to lock horns here for the 2003 Penguin Cup AA Championship. Jeff Nolan, thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Jeff. Always a pleasure, my man. You're watching exciting hockey action on Family Life TV, Catanning, your local family station. Justin Kovac. 
Number 84, Michael Mercurio. And number 88, Jay Crew. The Wildcats are coached by head coach Jeff Smile. And number 82, Tyler Tuka. And now the defending state double A champion, Peter Township Indian. Number 37, Kyle Kittleberger. Number 40, Jay Fry. Number Number 12, Michael Shearer. time here five minutes to talk about the game but uh, first I'd like to remind you a couple reminders actually that uh, VHS videotapes of this game are available um, you can use your Visa MasterCard or Discover call 724-548-8000 and also viewers all over Western Pennsylvania can watch this game on the Family Life website at www.familylifetv.com and Afternoon's action is being brought to you by 
Merchants Bank. Do you know how long Merchants Bank has been in Katanning? 105 oh. years. Uh, that's right, Dave. Merchants Bank has been in Katanning 105 years. When ATMs were first introduced, Merchants Bank was the first bank to install them in downtown Katanning. Now ATMs are available at each of their four locations, Worthington, Route 422 East, West Katanning, and downtown Katanning. They're a full-service bank with checking, savings, CDs, loans, mortgages. That's Merchants Bank supporting Katanning Hockey on Family Life TV, your local family station. Jeff? Big one. Yeah, this is a big game, Dave. Uh, for the campaigning program, we talked on the outset with uh, Jeff Nolan. Um, these kids, after interviewing them after the game, even Jeff Smiles, uh, talked a little bit about happy, almost in awe to be here. But I think that's all changed now. Uh, the kids are here. This team is focused, And uh, you've been with this team the whole season. Uh, we won't them lose their first two games. And I said, I, I believe this. I think that was the best thing that ever happened to them. And then they went on a roll. And uh, it hasn't stopped till it's, it's gotten new there. It's, it's been a long time. Uh, I was in the stands the last time they played in this game against Meadville, I think it was. Yeah, I, I was there too. Uh, beat them 7 to 4 down at the. Uh, after they lost 8 to 5, I went back and researched it. They lost 8 to 5 in 92, and I think they won in 91, 7 to 4. That, that was Biggest crowd ever to see a high school hockey game in Western Pennsylvania. I think over over 3,000 people down at the Civic Arena. And uh, I was there. I was out of hockey at the time, and uh, you know, it kind of spurred me. I got excited because I had seen I knew the Armstrong tradition with uh, John Spangler, Joe Ritchie, and all those good folks up there. Uh, many, many years. And I was there. Uh, finally got Larry Montebell, his type of, of Armstrong, back in 1973 at the Belmont. Lot. Uh, but a long, long tradition in Catanning, uh, the Armstrong Central and Catanning Hockey Program. Jim King and I talked about it last week. It's been brought back by, first by Al uh, now with Jeff Smiles and, and yourself, of course, the freshman coach, and, you know, the, the, the working cooperation has been wonderful. Yeah, today, though, they come here and now you have to say decided underdogs. Absolutely. Let's talk. Do you want to talk about uh, Peters first. Okay. Uh, it all starts in between the fights. Al probably the lead uh, one of the best goaltenders in Western Pennsylvania. This kid is makes the big save. He affords them the chances on the offensive end because of his stellar goaltending. But up front, there's a whole host up front, uh, led by Mike Papsiak, number 31, who broke the all-time record by R.J. Umberger and and Justin Glock in the Scholastic Showcase with 27 points in five games. Uh, you have Christian Manella. You have uh, Matt Schwartz, who came back to the team after deciding to play with the Hornets and, and all of that. This team has battled distractions all year long. Uh, they lost a couple. They slipped up a couple times. They're a well-oiled machine. And uh, as I've said to Jeff Nolan, and I, I think they're one of the best that we're going to see in a long, long time. They Nolan says they have the slipper on. Do they want to wear it? I'm sure that they are. I know for a fact, actually, the coaching staff is going to try a couple new wrinkles today. Throw Peters off their game. The Claxon kid, 55, uh, 66 penalty minutes, I think, was the last I saw. That's a lot for a high school hockey player. He's a big bruiser of a kid. Uh, he's got a younger brother that can score. Yeah. So Peters brings it all. Katani. The local kids, what do you got to say about them? Well, you want me to go. Ad Adam Toy's been tremendous in this playoff. Day. I mean, it, there's no question about it. His goaltending has been wonderful. But they're getting it done on both ends of the ice and all ends of the ice. The unheralded group, McKelvey, Snyder, Justin Abbey, Brandon Beatty, played tremendous against Thomas Jefferson. That group... Thomas Jefferson off the board. Didn't let him get the odd man break. And it was done by great back checking. You know, Wade Bowser. Uh, Dustin Kellner. Dustin Kellner, eight goals all season. Scores two big ones, including the overtime. Luke Keller. You, there's a lot of unheralded guys on that side. And they're not ready to go away yet. I so know. I think, I think, I think the Tanning is going to come out here early. And they're going to show Peter Stonship that this is going to be a hockey game. There's no question about it. Are you? 
Are you planning a trip to a special event in the near future? Why not go as a group? Shriver Transportation can provide your group with safe and dependable first class motor coach service to your special event. Church groups, clubs, school groups, and work related social events can all enjoy the benefit and the convenience of charter bus service. So if you're a group and you would like a comfortable motor coach or a larger capacity school bus, we can provide the service at Shriver Transportation. Call them today and get your group rolling. Hockey action on Family Life TV, Catanning, your local family station. ready for the face-off. Take her away, Jeff. Pack, packed house here at Island Sports. I think half of Armstrong County's here, and if they're <laughs> not here, they're going to be watching this tape. So, uh, Dave Bowser, I want to thank you for inviting me along in the Catanning Hockey Club. Uh, great event here. Uh, the Penguin Cup started back in uh, the early, the mid-1970s. Uh, was known as the Western Regional Championship and adopted the Penguin Cup name around the mid-80s and uh, now has been formalized uh, on this side of the state. And of course, we have the Flyers Cup, which we've talked about, uh, which is going on right now. And in Double A, the much heralded Firebirds of Holy Ghost Prep are going to take on the Warriors of Westchester Henderson, a team that, uh, you know, I thought could, I talked to Jeff Smouse. I thought you guys met them when you were out there in that tournament, but he told me otherwise. But uh, we're getting ready for the opening faceoff. Uh, Dustin Kellner, the hero from last Tuesday, and he's going to step in here against Christian Manella, and we're going to be ready to take it off. And Dave, we're looking for a good one here this afternoon. Looks like a little bit of a change up here already. We've got Mike Mercurio playing a forward. Okay, Shearer is going to grab it there for Peters Township. He's going to dump it away into the containing zone. Brandon Beatty's up there for the Wild Hats. Kept in there neatly by Shearer. Here's Claxon in front, and he shot it over the net. Peters Township is going to keep that puck in the zone and containing battle and down deep there, as they always do. Here's Manella up with it. Manella, take the wrist shot, and it's blocked by Beatty. Katanning looking to play a little man-to-man -man here in the first period. It looks like they're covering them all over the ice, and it's good work by Michael Mercurio to get the puck out of the end. Mercurio back. He's going to take it away from Rob Feldovich. Mercurio up in front. Shoots it across to Jeremy, and he just missed. Puck comes around the boards, and it's out of the zone, and we're not going to have an icing as Schneider could have got it. Here comes McKelvey with the puck. McKelvey, yep, over center ice. McKelvey's going to get it, and he's going to dump it away into the Peter zone on a turning clock here with 14.03 remaining. This Krogan up with it. This has been Katanning's most effective line for most of the playoffs last game, except the... Here's Papsiak. Papsiak in in front. Great save by Adam Toy. Peters is going to grab that puck in the end. Luke Keller out here with Shriver and Jeremy, and, and you're right. They have been very effective in these playoffs. Side Bishop back, back forward for the Peters Township Indians. Up to Krogan. Krogan will move it along to Papsiak. Papsiak in the center zone. Intercepted there by Kellner. Good play by Kellner. Here comes Kane. Kane back for the... And dumps it away into the Peters Township zone. Mercurio is going to give chase to it. Good play by Zach Kane to put pressure. Rubio up with it. And a very nice play along the boards over there. As Brandon Beatty lays out the lumber on the, in the first shift at 13.09. Standing running just two lines at the moment. Here comes Mercurio back. Mercurio's got it. He's behind the net. Mercurio's loose. Has that puck. In front to Avi. Oh, it's blocked in front by Shear, and he's going to clear the puck. Good work there by Katanning. Looked like Mike wanted that wraparound, but it just wasn't there, Jeff. Okay, here come the uh, Katanning Wildcats. They're going to move the puck out of their zone. It's Eddie Jeremy. Eddie Jeremy up over the line. Here's Kane. Kane in over the line. Takes a big drive, and it's blocked by Shear again. The big, lanky defenseman. Jeremy grabs that puck for Katanning. And Claxon's going to clean up his own end. This is Chris Claxon. Winds it up behind his own net. 
12.26 remaining here in the first period. Here's Claxon in over the line. Claxon around the defense. Makes a little move. Oh, and a big save by Toy as he holds on. Big save there by Adam Toy. Luke Keller took a little bit of a chance, but coming up the boards and trying to hold the zone and down in this end of the ice. And uh, when he got beat, that's the only problem with the man-to-man. You get left behind. Absolutely. There's nobody left to clean up after you. And there's a lot of speed on this Peter Stotchett, but you can see. Absolutely. Just a, he, he's got great hands, great speed, and he loves the off wing, Greg. Okay, face off to the left of Adam Toy. 12-14 remaining here in the first period. In front, where's the puck? Oh, and Toy's going to stop it, and referee uh, Dave Crichton's going to blow the whistle, 12-08. And Adam Toy's becoming a factor here early, Greg. A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. Well, I had a little talk uh, on the way over here with a longtime coach, and, and he said to me, he said, Catani's got to weather the storm early, and that's what we're seeing right here. Manella steps in, takes the face off. Back to the point, Bishop's going to wind it up, and it's blocked in front. Here's Manella up with it. Lays that big body all over the Catani players. Here comes Schwartz, he shoots, oh, and it just went wide. Peters Township. In front, Manila takes a shot. Rebound, here's Schwartz, shoots. Oh, great save by Adam Toy. And it's cleared by the companion Wildcat. Great action here early on, Peters Township. Peters is showing their strength at this point. It's They're up to very strong. to answer back. Very strong on the puck. We saw this with TJ as well. TJ early in that game, Greg. Uh, TJ was very, very strong on the puck, but Toy made a lot of good saves. It, it, it propelled containing on the bigger and better thing. With interest rates so low, now's the time to refinance your mortgage or purchase that new home. Armstrong Financial Services Company offers 15, 20, and 30-year fixed mortgages with as little as 0% down on the purchase of a new home. Armstrong Financial Services Company has been helping residents in Armstrong, Butler, Westmoreland, and Allegheny counties for many years, and they can help you. See Randy today at Armstrong Financial Services Company in West Catanning. Just Rob, Mike Papsiak from in front with a glove. Adam Toy looks sharp here early, Greg. He's going to have to. He's going to have to. It's, it seems like uh, Katanik's just trying to settle in a little bit with the system that they're trying to run. And I'm sure they're a little bit unsteady with it as yet. Plus okay. the nerves you got. Right, absolutely. There's a little nerves. We forgot to talk about that. Okay, pucks up to Mercurio. Mercurio, one man back. Takes a drink drive, and he's back checked by Feldovich. Here's Rubio up with it for the Indians. He's going to move it away. Up to Papsiak. Papsiak, get over the line. Takes a big drive and a good save by Adam Toy as he came out to cut down the angle. Puck moves around to the boards. Who's going to get there first? It's Brandon Rubio. Rubio shoots it to the net. A good save by Toy. And a good clear by Justin Avi as he's pulled down. Rubio is uh, their leading scorer, isn't he? Yep. He's unheralded as well. Nice little move on the boards. Okay, Mercurio's back with it as Peters cleans up their own end. Brandon Beatty back for it for the Wildcats. Turning clock with 10.29 remaining in the first period. The scoreless tie here at Island Sports Center, the 2003 Penguin Cup. Here's Shriver. Shriver in over the line. Shriver, big battle there with Cy Bishop, but Bishop is going to come away with it for the Indians. Leaves it there for Greg Krogan. Krogan up with it for the Indians. Going to move it along. Up to Claxon. Claxon. And over the line. Claxon makes a little move. Walks down the slot. He shoots. And a save. And the net goes off the moorings. As you can see, they really are strong on the puck, and they get that puck moving wide, and, and it's tough, tough to stop them. It's Shri this line, this uh, shriver Jeremy line, is going to have their hands full today because neither one of those guys weigh over 150 pounds. And yeah. is that soaking wet, Greg? Yeah, that's soaking wet. I, and, and with a couple weights on them? <laughs> yeah. I saw those guys down there, and I thought they were brothers of the younger Katani players. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, Joel Shriver and... Uh, and Eddie Jeremy. Jeremy have had a, quite a playoffs. Those two kids have been instrumental in this, this run for Catani. Absolutely. They've, they've scored some big goals, especially against Indiana. Okay, Krogan back with it for Peters Township. He's going to move it up off the board, but Big McKelvey moves it down into the Peters zone. Matt Claxon up there for, Indi for the Indians. Going to try to carry it. Stolen by Jeremy. Jeremy tries to make a little move. Jeremy has the puck. He shoots. Oh, and a good save by Kittleberger. Heller leaves it behind the net, but Bishop's going to grab it there for Peter Township. Bishop up with it. Good play by Shriver as he keeps it in. Shriver has a scrappy little player. 
We're going to have an icing call against Peters Township. I've been very impressed with uh, Shriver. He has been very scrappy. He works hard on the puck. Made a big play in that Indiana game, getting that, that one goal or, or assisting on another goal. He was very strong. Yeah, it's it's hard to believe. And in, in, in talking to either him or Eddie, they'll tell you the more physical the game, the better they like it. Uh, they're both quick. They have a way of... Uh, shielding themselves, protecting themselves from the really big blows, and it helps them to stand up against bigger competition. And, and it's great balance that does it. Both of those kids have great balance on their skates. Absolutely. Christian Manella up over center, moves it to Schwartz. Schwartz in over the line, take the wrist He shoots and scores! 9-15 remaining in the first period, and Schwartz overpowered Adam Toy on that one on the stick side. Big yeah. shot by Matt Schwartz, and there's another guy that we haven't talked a whole lot about, but Schwartz can really fire that puck. Adam read the play just a little bit too late. I don't think he expected that shot to come when it did. He kind of shot it off his back foot, you know. Yeah. He had that back foot, and you don't, you don't see a lot of players that are talented enough to do it, but Schwartz is a triple-A player, and he's headed uh, for Harvard, from what I understand, for the Hornets. And, uh, you know, this kid really has a lot of talent. Well, that's One, the old Mark Recchi move, isn't it? Yep. Off the back foot. Except he's righty. Mark was lefty. Yeah, true. Okay, 9.09, remaining here in the first period. Canning down 1-0. Avi up with it. Schwartz down there with that big body. In behind the net. Schwartz turns his body in front. And they ran over Adam Toy. As Peter's just starting to show that physical size and strength in front of that net. And uh, Catania's going to have their hands full with those guys. I can see that. Justin Avi uh, went, to, went to battle there for his goalie. Uh, he's given up a little size and weight. Well, Justin, if anybody knows Justin, Justin's down there and he's yapping. Absolutely. He's ready to get him. He's, he's getting under their skin. So, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll battle all day long Absolutely. until they carry him off the ice. And that's Justin Avi. We know all about him. Big competitor. Okay, uh, Coach Jeff Smiles is going to send up Shriver. And Shriver is going to face off here. And it uh, looks like the Papsiak line is going to be out for Peter Stonship. Brandon Beatty jams the puck along the boards. Big sequence of this game right now, Greg. I think Catanning's got to establish some type of offense here at some point. Toy's going to hold on. I think they're going to have to get the puck into the Peters zone, and they're going to have to establish something because what's going to happen is Peters is going to pinch those defensemen, and it's going to be a long afternoon. Yeah, I think that's uh, the whole purpose behind that man-on-man -oh -man that they've uh, tried to play, but uh, things are getting a little chippy down front. Brandon Beatty takes a trip to the penalty box. Well, Brandon Rubio's falling right behind him. They gave him two unsportsmanlike conduct. And I'm sure they had a nice little conversation, a cup of tea down there in the I'm, corner. I'm sure. Knowing Brandon and knowing Brandon Rubio, there's two Brandons there. Brandon Rubio <laughs> likes to talk as well. So. Must be something in the name. Peter's Township penalty number 38, Brandon Rubio. Two minutes each for unsportsmanlike conduct. Away here. Time of the penalty, six minutes and 21 five. seconds five of the first five. period. Mark Cooper is going to get an explanation here from Dave Crichton, and uh, we're going to move in, and Mike Secor is going to drop the puck, and away we go. 8.39 remaining here in the first period. You're watching Catanning Hockey on Family Life, the 2003 Penguin Cup Championship. Here comes Schneider up over the line, and they're just scrapping to get that puck out of their zone and up into the Peters Township zone, but Krogan's going to bit there first. The ice is starting to tilt a little. But an icing call, and Catanning's going to get a big face off here. And this is the kind of things that Catanning's looking for, to gain territorial advantage. Now a good chance to win a face off and, and establish. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if uh, Coach Jeff Smiles sends out Jesse Shriver because Shriver took a lot of big draws in that TJ game. And here he is. There he is. Well, we got a second. Uh, maybe we don't have a second. Uh, we'll just wait. <laughs> we'll, hear, we'll hear from our buddies at Roops here in a minute. Okay, Shriver back with it. He's going to leave it there for McKelvey, and McKelvey's going to move it up to Oaks. Oaks dumps it along the boards. Back forward is Shear for Peters Township, and he reverses the play, falls down. But Robbie Feldovich is going to grab it there for Peters Township. Up to Papsiak. Papsiak up to Claxon. Claxon in over the line, makes a little move. Here's Claxon down the slot. He shoots and scores! Chris Claxon. It was 7.53 remaining here in the first period. Peters Township looking awesome, Dave. Tough to stop that shot. That was just a nice move. Lots of strength, lots of speed. And he, he tucked it to the backhand. Once he beat the guy at the blue line, uh, he was in alone, and Adam Toya didn't have much of a chance on that one. 
Television is changing, and it pays to go with a local business who's kept up with that change. Roop's Appliances in West Catanning has transitioned for the past 57 years, offering not only name brand appliances, but now high definition television and Sky Angel, Dish, and Direct TV satellite systems. With same day delivery, Roop's is your place to trust in these changing times of technology. Roop's Appliances in West Catanning. Okay, we're back to action here. Kane's going to pick it up there, and here comes Michael Mercurio. 7.38 remaining, 2 nothing in favor of Peters Township. Brogan back for it for the Indians. Here, here's Kane. Kane with a chance. Over the counter, into Mercurio. He takes a shot that just went wide. Christian Manella cleans up his end. Kane was pulled down on the play, but no call. Here's Manella in over the line, over to Claxton. He takes a big drive, and it just went wide. Mercurio battle, big battle along the boards down there. Krogan back at the point for Peters Township. Winds up, takes a drive, and it just went wide. Claxon up with it. 7.04 remaining here in the first period. Claxon will move it down behind the net. Big battle by Justin Avi. Down there with Matt Schwartz, and we're going to have a whistle and uh, stop and play. Greg Bowser. <laughs> I'll tell you, if Katanin doesn't do something, uh, the... the the physical nature of this is uh, really starting to really starting to change over. Uh, we're gonna have to make a trip to Klingon Smith's Healthcare after this game, I think, to, to pick up some uh, bandages and comp compresses. Well, if I don't remember your name, I'm gonna need bandages. Well, actually, <laughs> actually, Greg's my son, and that's why you remember him because he played for Catanning the last several years. Well, I, I apologize. That's all right. I'll live. <laughs> we'll, we'll try to get that. To, we'll try to get that straight, Dave. Not I a problem. Not a problem. I don't know how many times Mr. McKelvey told me that it's Dave Bowser. Okay, back to the action. Good play by Jeremy. Here comes Jeremy back for Katanning. Makes a little move. Oh, and he big dropped hit, that on the play. The big play. And Corey Dave Triton is going to call roughing. And and I think Shear got the hands up a little bit on Jeremy. I mean, he made a nice hit with the shoulder. But when you follow through with those hands to the head, that's a pretty good call by Dave Price. Yeah, I think it's one you have to make, too, because uh, you don't want this thing to get away from you. And both teams, well, with Peters Township being so physical, Katanning feels compelled to answer Peters the bell. And, and good play again. Jeremy took the hit. You know, you, you mentioned that earlier, and that's a good observation, Dave. I think, you know, those young guys, they play hard, and he'll be right back, back out here the next shift. Okay, big opportunity here for Katanning. Turkey on the table. Dustin Kellner, Luke Heller, along with Zach Kane, Michael Mercurio, and Schneider on the points. Shot to the net. Oh, and a good play by Kittleberger. Here's Heller with it. Heller walks to the net, takes a rock hit. Rebound, where's that puck? Heller shoots it. Oh, and a great oh, play by Kittleberger tough. as he robs Luke Heller. Big battle down along the boards. Katanning, Kane, off to the, walks in front. Oh, and another great save by Kittleberger. Here comes Matt Claxon, back for the Indians, shorthanded. Claxon, going to move it around. Walks to the net. Oh, and a big play. Good play by Schneider to keep him to the outside. It's a shorthanded chance for Matt Claxon. Heller and Kellner started the year together on a line with Eddie Jeremy, and uh, with Eddie being a little bit shaken up, I think, on that last one, Zach Kane was out with him. So it's not that they're unaccustomed to each other by any stretch. And they generated a couple opportunities down here. Yeah, and they worked very well in the corner. They shielded the puck, and, and Kane had a nice chance walking to the net there, and Kittleberger just made a better save. Okay, faceoff's going to come outside the zone. 129 remaining in the penalty, and 6-12 remaining here in the first period. 2-0 in favor of the Peters Township Indians. Schneider's going to move it up along. This is Shriver. Shriver intercepted by Claxon. He's just going to drive it deep into the containing zone. Here's Schneider up with it. Schneider's going to move it along. Up to Mercurio. Mercurio's going to grab that puck. Here comes Shriver for the containing Wildcats. And a great back check by Mike Papsiak. And Rob Feldovich is going to clear. Schneider up over the line. Going to take a big drive and duck to the corner by Kittleberger. Shriver up with it. Driver for the containing Wildcats. Back to Jeremy. Back to the point to Mercurio. Mercurio, good patience. Has the puck. Over to Shriver. Shriver's going to dump it behind the net, but Rob Feldovich is going to get there first, and it's going to go off the netting uh, with 5.32 remaining and 49 seconds remaining. Katani starting to, to be a little more patient on the power play. They're working for their opportunities, but they're going to need to get shots on Kyle Kittleberger. They have a disadvantage early, I think, Jeff, in that uh, Peters has been to this game, what, three years in a row? Well, it's... a couple of times. So, yeah. Yeah, they've been here, and, and they were here last year. And uh, so Katanning's treading on uh, new ground. Uh, yeah. 
little new ground here. They'll settle down. They need they need to get some shots and they'll be settled right in. Alvi makes a good play along the boards to keep it in. Good play by Heller. Here's Kellner with it. Kellner with good patience. Shoots it to the net. Good chance. Kane rebounds. Oh, and it's blocked by number 77, Rooney. Good play there by Rooney. Dustin just couldn't get a hold of all that. Had it on his stick, but it just wouldn't stay where he wanted it. Kind of came off the hill when he actually shot it. Okay, here comes Katanning. Full head of steam. This is Brandon Beatty over the line. Takes a wrist shot, weak to the net. Kittleberger up with it. And Cy Bishop is going to clear it for Peters Township. Adam Toy turning clock, 4.54 remaining here in the first period. 2-0 in favor of the Peters Township Indians. And it looks like they're going to kill this penalty. Wade Bowser announces his presence on the ice with a big hit in the quarter. Oh, absolutely. You know he's going to be scrapping. And, and maybe maybe that's what they need. They need Wade to get out here and throw the body around a little bit because he's not afraid to do it. Uh, he's very aggressive. And that, maybe that's what the Wildcats need is a little aggressiveness and then deliver it back and, and turn the tone a little bit on this game because it's lulling a little bit, Dave. And, and Katanning needs to seize this opportunity to start getting some chances and maybe get someone behind Kyle Kittleberger. Yeah, at this point with being down 2 nothing, just hanging on isn't an option. They've got to they've got to initiate. Okay, one faceoff. Wade Bowser wins the faceoff. McKelvey, good play by Wade Bowser to keep it in. Bowser has a puck, shoots it to the net. Good chance. Oh, and Shriver just missed. Vanilla back, moves it up. Good play. Here's Rubio. Rubio, McKelvey, chase to the corner. And a good back-checking effort there by Schneider. Big drive to the net. Here's Bowser. Goes down with it. And what do we have? We have a high-sticking call in the play. Good back-checking by Katanning there. Uh, Schneider really made a nice play to tip that puck into the corner. When George Capone lists a house, he finds a buyer. Condos, two-story, apartment over the garage, farms, he has it all through Catanning Realty. Thinking of selling your house? Call George today. Looking for that dream home? George can look through all his listings and find the right property for you. George Capone at Catanning Realty, Blair Green Broker. Also see George for your insurance needs. George has supported Catanning Hockey for more years than anyone else in Armstrong County. Okay, my favorite sign at the Belmont. Which? Back in the 70s was only God saves more than Zimmerman. <laughs> Zip Zimmerman. I don't know if you remember Zip. Actually, I'm coaching his nephew on the freshman team. Get, get out of here. That's fantastic. And I, I ran into him a couple of years ago. And I was up at Catanning, and somebody brought him over to introduce him to me. And uh, he was the first late, the first great Catanning Armstrong goal. <laughs> Jeremy off the draw. Shear's going to clear it around to Kevin Custron, and Custron's going to chip it along, and Shear's going to follow up. But a good play over there by Schneider to keep it in. Here's Shriver. Shriver has the puck, and there's Jeremy and Shriver working their magic down low. Big hit along the boards as Rubio comes in to clean his own end up. McKelvey working down below, and a big battle along the boards here on the near boards. Puck around. Good play by McCatanning here. Luke Keller back at the point. And they're, they're working that puck down low. Here's Shear up with it. Good play by Snyder. Shot! Oh, and a good chance by Luke Heller. Jeremy up with it. Jeremy just keeps that puck behind. Here's Heller. Heller shoots it in front. Uh, oh, and Custer's going to pick it up there for Peters. And he's going to have an icing call. Good work by that line of Jeremy and Shriver. Turning clock with 3.08 remaining here. Here's Sh Schneider up with it. Going to move it along, but it's intercepted there by Christian Manella. Luke Keller is like the big guy on that line. <laughs> Absolutely. He probably weighs more than both of them. Well, yeah, but not, <laughs> no, but he's, I, we, maybe we should say he's the tall guy on that line. Okay, here's Kane. Back to Mercurio. Mercurio jumps up in the air. Kellner in front. He's alone. Shortly up there. Here's Alvai. Alvai's going to throw the oh. oh, and a bouncing puck. Just had a chance. Lenz is going to keep it in. Here's Kellner, walks it in the net. Oh, and a great save by Kittleberger as he goes down on one knee. Good pressure by Katanning there, Dave. Yeah, the ice is starting to tilt this way now. After uh, Peters early set the tone, Katanning's kind of uh, oh, turn over there in a bad place. So. Okay, no almost, almost was legal there for <laughs> Katanning, but good, good work there by the, that line. 
Absolutely. Yeah, and, and maybe now Katina could start to get rid of the nerves, get into their rhythm, get the puck deep, you know, and start to work for the opportunities. And that's that's uh, that's Katina hockey. And, and they've absorbed the big shots. You know, they've taken the blows now. You know, the like you said, the nerves should be gone. They should be able to settle in. Okay, we have 2.17 remaining. Uh, this is Dave Bowser and Jeff Morrow. This is Jeff Morrow, Dave Bowser. <laughs> we finally get it straight. We know who we are. Okay. And our whole host of uh, folks from Family Life who are bringing us the action this afternoon here from the Island Sports Center, the 2003 Class AA Penguins Cup. The defending ch state champion, Peters Township Indians. Here's Manella. Manella in behind the net. Nice the good play by Jeremy to tie up his man. Puck back to the net. Brady in front. And Shriver's going to grab it. He may have a chance. Here's Shriver. In over the line. Moves that puck around. Takes a shot to the net and a good save by Kittleberger. Manella up with it for Peters Township. Moves it around the boards. Taken there by McKelvey. Good play by McKelvey. Here's Jeremy. Oh, to the net. And he shoots. Oh, oh. save by Kyle Kittleberger oh. as he robbed Eddie Jeremy. With a minute 42 remaining. Here's Heller. Heller back with it. Moves it to the point. Beatty takes a wrist shot. Over to Heller. He shoots. He scores. Oh. Luke Heller. Oh, you'd have to be here to believe it. Luke Heller puts the containing Wildcats on the board with 134 remaining. Kittleberger made two unbelievable saves, but he couldn't stop Luke Heller. And the Wildcats are on the board, Dave. That second, that save that he made on Eddie Jeremy was one of the best saves I've seen a high school goalie make all year. But uh, that same line, a lot oh, of pressure down low, looking for the loose pucks and being very opportunistic. Great, and we got a game. Great play by Joel Shriver along the boards to chip that puck along the boards and just skate around the defenseman. Just a simple play. So the big line of companion. Wildcat goal, score by number 33, Lucas Heller. Okay, Bishop's back for it for Peter Township. And let's see how this is the big point of the hockey game. As Katanning picks up their pace. Justin Amai just clears it out of the zone. Picked up there by Papsiak. Papsiak moves his front. Two, he scores! Chris Claxton gets the rebound. And Peter Township comes right back and puts the dagger in the heart of the Katanning Wildcats. Yeah, that's, you don't need that. You don't need that. I mean, they had the momentum going their way. It, they got to just be content to play one zone at a time. Uh, you know, they get that puck out of their own zone into the neutral zone. It's a different situation, but it just wouldn't cut quite clear that blue line and right back in their face. Yeah, and, and a simple play, but, you know, clacks and he's deadly with that stick. And, and uh, walked that puck to the net, and he just made no mistake of beating Adam on the, the, the stick side. It was a very nice shot. And that's a big goal here late in the period, Dave, because, you know, Katanning had a little momentum there, and now Peter Tonchik just comes right back. Yeah, you know yourself, as a, as a coach in a 2-1 game, it's, it's pretty easy to sell the troops and get them to focus on what they got to do. But uh, uh, a two-goal lead takes a little more talk and got to be a little bit more uh, inspirational. Absolutely. Big, cool. big collision along the board between Michael Bacurio and Cy Bishop. Yeah, I think Bishop got the worst of that. He got, like, face first into the board. Well, it had to hurt. Mercurio's a big, strong kid. Plays both ends of the ice. Big battle along the board. Zach Kane's going to pick it up there. McKelvey's going to move it along as we have kind of a wrestling match here between Brandon Beatty and, and Chris Glaxon. Feldovich yeah. is going to move it along the boards up to Rubio. Rubio. In over the line. Rubio takes the backhand and a good save by Adam Toy. Brandon was a little late getting up ice because of the the uh, extracurriculars he got involved in. Not that he wanted to be. He was kind of held down there. Okay. Brandon's uh, improved a lot over the years of getting disciplined. Okay, here in front, Papsiak takes a shot. Good save by Toy. Rebound. And the period's going to end. And fortunately for the Catanning Wildcats, no damage done. Okay. Located in West Catanning, ESS Insurance can provide all your necessary insurance needs, home, auto, and commercial lines. ESS also offers a wide variety of business health insurance. See Ed, Chip, Walter, Don for your investment or insurance needs. They're the proud sponsors of Catanning Hockey on Family Life TV, your local family station. You're watching the exciting hockey action on Family Life TV, Catanning, your local family station. Time of the penalty, 15 minutes in the first period. Hockey action 
continues from the Island Sports Center of Family Life TV, containing your local family station. And while we got a second, I want to throw in a couple of reminders, Jeff. Uh, VHS videotapes are available this game. Use your Visa, MasterCard, or Discover and call 724-548-8000. And uh, I'd also like to remind everybody that viewers all over Western Pennsylvania can watch this game on the Family Life TV website at www.familylifetv.com. And uh, while we got a second, um, I'd like to drop in a couple uh, other sponsors here who have uh, helped make today, uh, today's coverage possible. That would be Foodland, Bauer Funeral Home, White's Antiques in Worthington, and Kling & Smith's Hardware. Okay, big chance for Catanning here, Dave. Uh, you know, Peters Township, one of the things with Peters Township, if, if, if it's a sore point or a weak point, is discipline. And uh, they took a bad penalty at the end of the period there. And, and Catani really needs to make them pay for that. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. We do want to mention Steve, don't we? Steve Novak. Uh, was he, uh, was it that Lions Club, Dave? Uh, he's a uh, student of the student of the month. And he's a cameraman here for Family Life TV. Does an excellent job. Nice kid, too. Real nice kid. Okay, Kellner's going to pick it up there for Catanning as we open up the third or the second period. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. And we want to mention our fine camera work here by Family Life TV. The General Dave Troyle here and Charlie Sober, Matt Smith, Steve Novak, Wally Russ, and Lori Harris alongside uh, Dave Bowser and myself, Jeff Morrow, here at the Island Sports Center for the 2003 Penguin Cup. The puck's dumped in, in behind the zone, and... Uh, Schneider's going to pick it up there for Catanning. Good pass up to Heller. Heller moves it along. 115 remaining in the penalty. Mercurio's going to grab it there for Catanning. He moves it along. Michael Mercurio in over the line. He's going to wind up with that big slap shot. And it just went wide. Jeremy's going to grab it there for Catanning. He's going to move it to the net. And another good save. They're looking to go five hole in this kid, it looks like. Nice save there with the gloves. Yeah, there, it looks, uh, to me, it sounded, you know, he's given up some rebounds, and, and Luke Heller's goal, you know, maybe they need to get some traffic in front, get some big bodies, or maybe one of those little guys uh, yeah. in front to, to poke home some rebounds. Yeah, those little guys are pesky enough that they're almost the equivalent of a big guy. Well, the entire student body of Catanning, I think, is here. And There's it, a pretty good, pretty good turnout, that's for sure. Great, great crowd here on hand at the Island Sports Center, uh, and this beautiful complex both schools wear red and white so you can't really tell who's for who but uh they can definitely hear the Catanning fans lots of red and white here today as Westmont Sarah they're red and white and uh, Meadville has a little red Franklin Regional is the only blue one so they stick out like a sore thumb in front there's Jeremy in front oh and Kittleberger covers up he had to be sharp there Jesse Shriver and Eddie Jeremy were digging like my coal miners down there yeah Eddie's tough in front of the net took the blow he, uh, I, I looked, it looked like he was between the legs of the defenseman. He's so small down there. But I'll tell you what, he just kept digging till the whistle. And, and that's a good good sign for a young player. Uh, he's going to dig and play till that whistle. Well, that is true. This is a young containing team. Uh, I believe only five seniors. And most of them are young. Young. Most of their top players are young players. Okay, play back to action here. The tanning, good battle along the boards. And Feldovich is going to clear it up. Here's Schwartz. Good play nice by play. Michael Mercurio. Mike's Pick the pocket. To go. Here comes Mercurio. Take the drive. Oh, and a save by Kittleberger. Turnover there in the neutral zone. And uh, you know, Mike, likes to, Mike likes to go. He, he, he doesn't bother him at all to pick that thing up and take off. And he's in a real nice position because he could play from that defensive responsibility and he could pick that puck up and coming late, he can unleash that big shot. Yeah, and in that case, too, he caught almost everybody in the neutral zone leaning down ice. Okay. Face off. Uh, Luke Keller is going to move in against uh, Christian Manella on the face off. Here's Kellner, the hero of the T T Thomas Jefferson game. Moves it along to Mercurio. Mercurio has that puck. Eight seconds remaining in the penalty. But here comes Peters Township. Here's Big Claxon. In over the line. One on two. And he can't beat Justin Avi and Dustin Kellner, who were back there. Two bodies collide, and they're both Peters Township. But Matt Schwartz comes out of there with that puck. Schwartz up with it for the Indians. Tries to make it one move too many. But it's kept in there neatly by Cy Bishop, who dumps it down in behind the containing zone. 12.41 remaining here in the second period. 3-1 to one in favor of Peters Township. 
Nice Wade, job. Ba Wade Bowser working hard on those boards over there with Justin Avi. Looks like the whole and good work by Katanning is they're not going to give an inch in their in their defensive zone. Good work by Wade Bowser and number 25 Justin Avi. Justin's uh, more than carrying his share of the share of the load at the moment. Uh, he's playing against guys that are probably a head taller than he is, but uh, he's strong and he's got a good center of gravity. He's got good balance and he's not going to back down any. And he loves to talk it up. Oh yeah. But oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? He ba usually backs it up. Yep. Okay, Coach Jeff Smiles going to bring out Jesse Shriver, two pair number 11s to go against Christian Vanella. Pair number 11s in number, but in size, Vanella looks like he towers over Shriver, but Shriver's a feisty player. I loved his game. Made a great play on the winning goal that Dustin Kellner scored against Thomas Jefferson. Here's Oaks. Oaks has it for Katanning. He's going to move it up over the line. He's going to dump it away, in, and Kyle Kittleberger is going to handle it. Moves it along quickly and tried to spring Matt Schwartz up the middle. And Claxon. Almost looks like there's not enough pucks for those Peters Township players sometimes. But that could be a detriment to their team. Here comes Claxon up with it. Claxon moves it along. Offset. And Matt Schwartz is offside. And Ross McKelvey is going to grab it there for Katanning with 12 minutes remaining here in the second. Counter up with it. Counter with Katanning. And we're going to have the delayed offside call by uh, linesman Bill Robb. And 11.54. This is a low in this game, Dave, that uh, Katanning may want to, you know, we're talking about times to seize the opportunity. This may be one of those times that they really have to seize the opportunity and get the territorial It seems back. like Peters is almost comfortable every time they get a two-goal lead, and they're, per they're perfectly content to start protecting it. And Katanning needs to string together a couple quick ones to get them back in it. Okay, here's Michael Mercurio at his own blue line. Moves it along to counter. Counter up over the blue red, and he's going to dump it away into the into the Indian zone. Big chase there by Zach Kane, but he can't get it out. Mercurio picks up that loose puck. Mercurio with right it. Right in. In front. In front. Oh, oh, Kane just missed. Zach's got such good hands, I can't believe he missed that. He's so quick. Okay, here's Mercurio. Mercurio with that puck. And it's taken by Papsiak, but a good play by Counter to keep it in. Falls over his player, and it's worked out by Peters Township down into the zone. Big battle there. There's Rubio. Rubio kicks it in front. Oh, and it hit the post. Rebound. Papsiak has it. He shoots. Score! Brandon Rubio as Papsiak shoots it. And Rubio tips it in. And with 11-11 remaining, Peter Township strikes quickly. And that line of Papsiak and Rubio, yeah, it's hard to keep off that board that long. Papsiak had enough time that he just eyed the situation up and uh, read Adam just right. There wasn't too much. Even though uh, that was shot from, what, 20 feet out, there wasn't too much Adam could do about oh, that. Oh, yeah, Rubio was right on that doorstep. All kinds of time. Yep. So, big mistake for Katanning after they had a little pressure. It's now 4-1, and it's a big mountain for the, for the Wildcats right now. Here's Heller. Heller over the line. Heller has that puck. Shoots it to the net. And Kittleberger is going to glove it and hold on with 11.04 remaining. He had Eddie Jeremy cutting, and uh, he just wanted to get it on net, but it looked like it sailed on him a little bit and came up by where uh, Kittleberger could glove it rather Some, than sometime, rebound. Sometimes the players try to do a little too much, Dave. And, and you know, this is one of those moments where Katanning's really got to dig down deep and get back in this game. Well, that's a good line to have out. Uh, Luke Keller's always been one of my favorite players. Hard working, um, hard working yeah. forward. Absolutely. Smart, real clever with the puck. Does all the little things. He's one of those guys you want to have out there. Okay, here comes Peters Township. Claxon with it. Claxon looks the scene over. Takes a wrist shot. And a backhand just went wide. And Jeremy's going to grab it for Katani. Moves it ahead. Here's Shriver. Shriver up over the line. Two men back. <laughs> and he dumps it away. And we have the sneeze that's going here. Just got the sneezes. I got the sniffles. We got oh, it all boy. covered. We're gonna need we're gonna need John Bridge to get us some cold medicine here. Here's Jeremy up over the line for Danny. Winds up with that big drive. Uh, oh, and a good save by Kittleberger as he went down and got that big pad down and made it look easy, Dave. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It doesn't seem like Katanning gets that one shot opportunity, but there doesn't seem to be much in the way of rebounds. The one time they did have that opportunity, they scored. Yep, absolutely, and, and it was. And it has to be a little chaos down in that Peters Township zone. Any defensive unit, when you get them running around, they're vulnerable. And Kittleberger's quick, but he's not big. And if you can get him down, there is some room to work up high. 
Okay, Mike Secor is going to move in and uh, drop the puck. Shriver and Manella are going to, looks like there's a little line matching going on here. Shriver's going to win that draw, but Peters Township controls. Shear is going to move it along the board. Puck down in, in the Peters zone. Shriver up there for Catani. Oh, Ooh. and he's leveled with a big hit down in the corner, and I didn't quite see that number on that truck. Okay, here's Shear. Leads the rush back for Peters Township. Pulls up. Shear's going to get his own puck. Shoots it to the net, and Adam Toy's going to glove it. 50 years. That's how long Nolde Chevrolet has been in downtown Catanning. Over 100 new and used vehicles ready for immediate delivery. So many new cars and trucks that Nolde Chevrolet bought an additional lot. Need service? No problem. Nolde Chevrolet has qualified technicians and the lowest labor rate of any new car dealer in Catanning. Stop in and see Dollar Bill at Nolte Chevrolet, South Jefferson Street, Catanning. Proud to support Catanning Hockey on Family Life TV, your local family station. Okay, we're going to have a face-off to the left of Adam Toy. As Vanella moves in against Keller. Oh, shot to the net. Oh, man. Adam Toy had to be sharp on that one. I'll say he did. But one thing I noticed about Adam, we're stepping on, I'm stepping on <laughs> Dave's court. And uh, Dave's, Dave has a cold. Now I'm stepping on his court. I forgot his name. I just might as well pack it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to have fun here. One, one thing I've noticed about Adam Toy, and you've had a chance to work with him, he centered his body well at the top of the crease, and, he, and he's done it very well in these playoffs. He can, he, yeah, he's, Adam's been sensational. He's done nothing but improve over the last two years. Last year he took him to quarterfinals, this year the finals, and this isn't over yet, so. He's got a long way to go. With oh, yeah. 9.41 remaining here in the second period. Dustin Kellner is going to move in to take the face off against Christian Benella. Draw one by counter. Adam Toy is going to poke that puck in the corner. Here's Manella with it. Manella up with it. In front. There's that puck. Oh. Rebound. Shot. Oh, great save by Adam Toy. As he robbed Matt Claxon. I'll say. Matt Schwartz looks like he's laying down on top of Adam Toy. And Adam says, stay out of my living room. And Justin Avon is telling him, don't ever go in there again, or it's going to be me and you, and they're jawing a little bit. Yeah, now. they're. I'm sure uh, Justin's talking to the official, to the opposing player, to anybody that'll listen at this point. A few of these good chiropractor after this game. And that Dr. Kirk Weber is located just west of Worthington on Route 422. And he knows how to not only relieve back pain, but also provide regular maintenance to keep problems from occurring. Gentle adjustments get to the root of the pain, and their staff also provides massage therapy to relax tense muscles. Use the chiropractor many of the Catanning hockey players use. Dr. Kirk Weber, give him a call at 724-763-2222. Physical nature of this game, there may be a line outside the office. I might be there first. Okay, here, Papsiak, get over the line. Papsiak oh, nice makes a backhand. Rebound. Hey, he shoots and scores. Mike Papsiak with a great individual effort on the backhand, and he gets his own rebound. And with 9:06 remaining here in the second period, it's Peters Township five. And containing one. Russ, Nothing Adam Toy could do on nah, that. And, and actually, Russ McKelvey didn't make a bad play pushing him wide. Took him out to the outside, but uh, after the, sh the shot came off at him, couldn't quite control the rebound, and Papsiak still had time to dig it out and flip it into the corner. And Katanning's going to call a timeout. Yeah, good, good idea at this point. Well, we've talked about it. This Peters Township's a machine, and, and uh, you know, they get it rolling. You get Papsiak, Claxon, and, and they just seem to mature more in their ability to make big plays. I mean, that looked like an innocent-looking play there, and Papsiak turned it into a highlight reel. Well, I think what we're seeing is we're seeing a difference between a small young team that lived all year by being clever and smart with the puck, uh, and they're just playing a team of older guys who can muscle up on them a little bit. And it's wearing them down. But uh, I, I've coached enough of these guys to know that they're not going to quit and go away either. 5-1 doesn't mean it's over by any stretch. Well, and, and absolutely, you'll, you'll see Catanning continue to work hard. It's just they need to have some, some positives come out of this last 906 day. Yeah, I agree with you completely. And 
where can you go where the restaurant owner still makes her own homemade pies, soups, and cinnamon rolls? There's still one place. It's Mertz Cafe, just south of Fort City. Sunday dinners include full course meals, all for one price of $7.75. It's family dining at affordable prices in their newly remodeled dining room, Mertz Route 66 Cafe, between the entrance to Crooked Creek Park and alternate Route 66, south of Fort City. Say hello to Mert whenever you go there. Anyone's ever been to the Belmont, you know I'm, a, I'm the first in line for the Fiesta Dog Day. So <laughs> I don't if, know. If they have anything like the Fiesta Dog, I'll be there. We'll have to call Mertz and ask. <laughs> okay, we're having a little fun here this afternoon. This is it's Jeff Morrow along with Dave Bowser calling the 2003 Penguin Cup. And the play is in the containing zone. Cy Bishop up with it. With the defending oh. state champion, Peters Township Indians. Good back check there. Just took Zach's stick and everything else away. And, and there's an unheralded group on this Peters Township, too. It's out of all the superstars. They yeah. have some really hardworking players. Well, yeah, you can tell them they don't really, nothing lets up. They just keep coming at you. Yeah, Custrin and, uh, and Rubio are two of those players. I mean, Rubio is their leading scorer, but Rubio is a, is a general out there. He works hard. Rubio with that puck. He throws it to the net. Rebound. And Katanning's having all sorts of trouble down low. We just can't seem to hang on. Big battle along the boards there. Beatty up with it. Beatty's going to move it out of the zone. A smart play by Brandon there. The relief, a lot of pressure. Brandon doesn't always get enough credit for how, how smart he is. He, uh, he plays an intelligent game and an emotional game. Real competitor. Here's McGovern. McGovern with it. Moves it in front. Oh, oh he shoots and scores. Chris Claxon. As McGovern moved that puck to him, and we're watching a highlight reel here now, Dave. What a pass by Harry McGovern Jr. as he found Chris Claxon right on the doorstep, and it's six to one, Peters Township, and they're showing why. Well, McGovern's one of those kids you talked about for uh, Peters Township. You know, you know, maybe not one of the superstar names, but that was a real nice play, mate. Well, he got an assist on a goal in a game I did the PA announcement. He says, my name is Harry McGovern III. And he says, I don't get too many assists, so I want to make sure it's done right. But that was a beautiful pass right there, Dave. I think the Claxon boys have accounted for about half of the scoring here, too. And Evan Papsiak. Yeah, yeah Papsiak. Dan Warner has been part of the local landscape for many years. He has been an Armstrong County business builder for more than 25 years, the president of the Ford City Business Association, and now he wants to lead Armstrong County into the 21st century. Dan Warner is a candidate for change, running in the May primary for Armstrong County Commissioner. When you go to the poll, remember Dan Warner for Commissioner, a proud sponsor of Catanning Wildcats Hockey. This announcement paid for by concerned citizens of Armstrong County for Dan Warner. Holy Blue cow! Killer. They didn't interrupt you, pal, but we That's got it all right. right. That's we'll all right. Take it. Out of nowhere. Luke Keller gets that rebound, and he chipped it home, and Katanning's on the board. This game's really opening up, Dave. Yeah. Well, and in a way, that kind of favors Katanning. I mean, if they can get out of their end and not get penned up and get beat up in their own end, they can make things happen. Absolutely. And there's a lot of firepower on this Katanning squad. Yeah, you, you got half a dozen kids that'll put it in the net. You don't have one kid with, you know, 35 goals or anything like that, but you got a lot of guys, a real balanced team. Yeah, but they have six of them with 35 goals. So that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. We're fighting an uphill battle, but Katana's yeah. back in this hockey game. There's oh, another one. Oh, oh, oh man. He just had a chance. Here come the Wildcats again. Oh, they get getting some serious traffic in front of the net now. Oops, in front of the shoot. Great save, rebound. Oh, the way there. Late to the puck. Pat Schneider back in. And we're going to have a count. Out. And the Wildcats putting all sorts of pressure there. Well, I think they figured out that the referee's going to give them more latitude than they're accustomed to in front of the net. That was getting nasty down there. And uh, he let them play. Well, I, that was good work there by Oaks. Oaks. Oaks really had a couple of cracks at it. And boy, if he could have knocked that one home, we could have had a little different hockey game here. Katanning really is stepping it up right now. And you're seeing them dig down deep, which we know this Katanning Wildcat Hockey Club has. Yeah, no, there's nothing left to lose at this point. you gotta, you got to leave it all out there. Otherwise, you go home. Peter's Township penalty, number 12, Michael Shearer. Two minutes. 
Shear is going to be whistled for the hold. Here's Mercurio taking oh. a big drive, and it went wide. Beatty's going to keep it in the zone. Down to Zach Kane. Zach Kane, 6.52 remaining here. 1.49 remaining in the penalty. Here comes Big Schwartz. Schwartz up over the line. Oh, no. Moves it to Claxon. Claxon in over the line. He's going to take a wrist shot. Moves it in front. And where's that puck? In front. Schwartz. Oh, and a great save by Toy. Nice play by uh, Dustin Calendry. Just got a little bit of a bump on Schwartz. Took him and off the puck. Kept his body in front of him. Here's Schwartz back in front. Shot. Rebound. And it's all Peters Township right now. Side yeah. Bishop. Side Short Bishop. handed. Side Bishop's going to get that puck. And here comes Schwartz again. Schwartz in over the line. Makes a little move. Rebound in front. And Adam Toy is going to turn it Whoa. up. And we have two big bodies battling down there as Manella and, and Beatty are going to go in hard to the board. And it looks like Brandon's going to go to the box. Brandon's going to go, and I'm not at all sure. Uh, okay. They're I thought they were going to take Mercurio, too, for a uh, trip a little bit earlier, but it must have been Brandon just getting his money's worth. Well, Vanella did a smart thing there. He didn't retaliate, but they're going to send him to the box, it looks like. It may be a situation where there's four. No. Nope. No, they're not going to send him. No. Nope. They wanted to go over and interview him over in front of the penalty <laughs> Two minutes for slashing and two minutes for charging. Time okay, our referees this afternoon are Mr. Norman Boss and Mr. Dave Price. Our linesmen are Bill Robb, who's put in a lot of years uh, for Wapoa, and Mike Secor, a very, very uh, experienced officiating crew. And Mr. Foss says, let's drop the puck. 6.17 remaining here in the second. Claxon with it. Going to wind that big shot up, and Adam Toys sticks that big mitt up, and he's going to grab it and hold on. Wade made a play out there at the point trying to poke it by and go. When it didn't come out, he was caught on the wrong side of the man he was covering and left him wide open for that shot. Okay, Brandon Rubio going to step in here against Jesse Shriver. Wins the faceoff back to Claxon. Claxon over to Bishop. Bishop's going to wrist it, and it just went wide. Heavy shot. Papsiak up with it. Puck clears the zone. Over to Bishop. Got it. Trying to make a move. Good play by Shriver to step into him. Rubio off the boards. Rubio walks it to the net. Rebound. Good play by Wade Bowser to clear the puck. Underneath. Great play by Wade to, to, to keep him out of that, in front of that net, because it's been all Peters Township here in the second period. Yeah, Pat Snyder went up the boards to help Jesse out, and uh, they kind of had a two-on-one down behind to play. Wade came back later. Bacon. Speaking of bacon, Merck's Cafe, Route 66. It's worth the drive. You can get a great breakfast at an affordable price. That's what you get at Mert's Cafe on Route 66 south of Ford City. Mert has the Big American Breakfast, which is 325. Or imagine ordering her homemade sausage, gravy, and biscuits. Mert's is also the home of the original hot cake sandwich. Check out her daily lunch specials. Open 5 a.m. till 4 p.m. Family dining at affordable prices. Mert's Route 66 Cafe between the entrance to Crooker Creek Park and alternate 66 south of Ford City. It's worth the drive. Okay. Okay, uh, Mercurio is going to grab that puck with 5.21 remaining here in the second period. He's just going to flip it up over the bench. Well, we got a second. We all know the answer to this question now. 102 years. Today. 105. 105. 105 years. And when ATMs were first introduced, they weren't introduced 105 years ago. Merchants Bank has been in containing for 105 years. And when ATMs were first introduced, Merchants Bank was the first bank to install them in downtown Catani. Now ATMs are available at each of their four locations, Worthington, Route 422 East, West Catanning, Downtown Catanning. They're a full-service bank with checking, savings, CDs, loans, and mortgages. Merchants Bank supporting Catanning Hockey on Family Life TV. Catanning, your local family station. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to drop it in Well, I think in that lull, Peters Township came up with a couple of big goals there. You know, Pat were the, were the part of it, but Clash and another goal. And, and they just look really strong in that point. And it's almost as if they lull Canning to sleep and then just like a, 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 uh, a hyper, yeah. They, yeah. they struck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. I would say so. And then strong than that class in that. Uh, which one's that, Chris? That's Matt. Matt. It's 55, Chris is 51. And their father started one of the Johnny Brooks of all time against the Edwards, and I won't even get into that one. But anyway. Ooh. Oh, big play oh, along the board. Good. It looks like you're going to have a high sticking call and referee yeah. Dave Crichton as we got a big battle going along and Manella and Wade Bowser are locking horns. So 
these teams are starting to get a little testy. And uh, 440 you're reigning here in the second period. Pat Can't. Schneider stepped up to put a hit on uh, number 55 over there, and uh, 55 got his elbows up a little bit. Well, it's nice to see that it's getting a little rough, but uh, Matt Schwartz, uh, Luke Keller, and Ricky, or Mikey Mercurio, Ricky's younger brother, are sharing a little uh, laughs there. So that's nice to see the sportsmanship, Dave. Yeah. Uh, they got it all in perspective. They'll play hard, but when it's over, it's no over. Hands. Absolutely. Okay, Luke Keller's going to step in here and take the face off against Papsiak. Papsiak, who has two goals here this afternoon, and a beautiful pass to Brandon Rubio on the sixth uh, Peters Township goal. Mike Mercurio looking for room. Okay, it's going to be cleared away there by Robbie Feldovich. And Matt Schwartz is going to gather the puck in his own blue line for Peters Township. Schwartz up with it. Gets ahead of steam. He's going to move it along. Up to Manella with that big frame. Here's Papsiak. Get over the line. Oh, nice little pass in front. But a good play there by Luke Keller to tie up Matt Schwartz. Papsiak, we've talked about containing those little guys. Papsiak's not real big either. Okay, big drive to the net. Oh, and a good play by Schneider to keep out Papsiak and, and Rubio, who seem to be all over the place at this point, Dave. Yeah. Mercurio up with it. He's going to move it ahead to Heller. Heller, big drive. Oh, and a save by Kittleberger. He swats it into the corner. Here's Shriver with it. Shriver Clicked in behind the, the net. Good work. Bothered there by Claxon, who just rubbed him out against the boards. Good work there by Shriver. He steals from Claxon. Still running him down. Good work there by Joel Shriver. Justin Avi's got a little room. He's content to throw it back in. Okay, Avi up with it. Avi trying to work that puck down the boards, and he does. Manello back there with that big frame. And 312 remaining. Here's Shriver in front. Oh, oh and it just went wide. Manello's going to try to clear it, and he will. Justin Avi, 304 remaining here in a four on four situation. There's Papsiak. Papsiak makes a little move. Papsiak takes a wrist shot. A good save by Adam Toy. Adam had to be sharp on that one. I'll cause, say. Because uh, Papsiak was dancing. <laughs> And he's looking to dance another one in there and get that hat trick here in this period. Yeah, that was a real quick release, too. I don't, I'm not sure that Adam saw that till the last possible second. Adam seems to be covering down low to the net really well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Peter Stonchips has beat him on some picture-perfect goals tonight. So Adam Toy has, has played well despite the six goals. Well, Peter seems to get real good puck movement in tight. You know, it's just not – they don't just start slamming and banging. They move the puck around and – once they get the goalie down, he's kind of at their mercy. And, and they allow themselves enough room oh. to make the play. Uh, they, they allow themselves to, to, to uh, the patience yeah. to make that play, which we saw with Rubio, who's really well positioned on that last goal. Okay, here's Bowser in a big battle down behind the net. He's going to bump there with Kittleberger. Rubio is going to grab that puck for Peters Township. Turning clock with 224. Here's Custron. Custron looks over the seat. Moves it in front. Oh, and a big save on Claxon. As Custard saw Big Claxon coming down that slot, and Adam Toy had to make another great save day. Yeah, and these uh, Peter Township kids are going to the whistle. Uh, so Adam's having to cover and hang on for dear life. Well, Mark Cooper, if you haven't uh, talked to him, he, he demands that they play the whistle, and if they don't, they hear about it when they get to the bench. Are you planning a trip to a special event in the near future? Why not go as a group? Shriver Transportation can provide your group with safe and dependable first-class motor coach service to your special event. Church groups, clubs, school groups, and work-related social events can all enjoy the benefit and the convenience of charter bus service. So if you're a group and you would like a comfortable motor coach or a larger capacity school bus, we can provide the service at Shriver Transportation. Call them today and get your group rolling. That's, That's all right. It's all right. We got to get those public services out. We appreciate all the sponsors for this afternoon's battle here on Family Life. Yeah, especially Shriver Bus is a good group. Okay, here's Luke Keller up with it for the containing Wildcat. Moves it along. Eddie Jeremy chasing it down, and we're gonna have an icing call. Yeah, just a little bit out of out of Eddie's reach. A good idea, but it just didn't work out. Okay, Family Life crew today. Dave Croyle in the truck providing all the action and color. We have Charlie Sober down on camera one, Matt Smith, 
Steve Novak, and these these are all Catanning students. Uh, Catanning Ford City area. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. So. Wally Russ, Russ Nika. Wally Russ, Russ Nika back at the studio, and Lori Harris is coordinating all the action here this afternoon from the Island Sports Center. Great job, guys. And remember, if you want to tape of today's game. Oop. Sorry about that, Dave. That's all right. If you want to tape of today's game, call 724-548-8000. Use your Visa, MasterCard, or Discover card. And if uh, you want to see a rebroadcast of this for somebody who lives outside the cable area, you've always got www.familylifetv.com. And we have a link for all you PA hockey fans out there on the PA hockey website. And... Uh, of the family life we put it up the other day and uh, we promised dave we'd do that so uh for all you fans out there yeah it's it's on uh, if you click on the katanning logo uh, you can the can katanning wildcat logo it'll take you right to familylife.com and it's bringing it familylifetv.com Two minutes each for unsportsmanlike conduct. Okay, we had a Time couple of the penalties, penalties there, Dave. Yeah. 13 minutes and 36 seconds. Boys of being the boys. Period. Coincidental minors for unsportsmanlike at 13:36. Okay, minute 24 remaining here in the second period. Uh, this is Jeff Moore along with Dave Bowser in front, bringing you all the action of the 2003 Penguin Cup. Big battle, Christian Manella down there. And they call him the squirrel, and I can see why, because he works like a squirrel down in that corner. Schwartz up with it. Moves it to front. Oh, and a big save on Robbie Feldovich. Schwartz up with it. Schwartz making move, more moves than May West. <laughs> Trying to get that puck. And Clax is going to throw an elbow. And Shane Lentz is, hi, guys. They're right next to us. Hi, guys, fellas. Okay, behave yourselves. And here comes Norm Foss comes down, and he says, guys, I don't want to see another word. And he says, let's move along. And Justin Avi still has something to say. Yeah, he's, he's going to get he, the he, last he, word in. He's going to talk. He's still talking to Schwartz. He's, he's going to be a pharmacist, but I'm pretty sure he's missing his calling. Law school, I think, might be might be more up his alley. He's always making his argument. Okay, we're back to action. And Schneider's going to move it along for Katanning in, in behind the net. Schneider up with it. Just going to move it out of the zone. Good play. Kane's going to drive it into the zone. And a big hit over there on Kane. And we're going to have a whistle, and I didn't see that. It might have been an offsides call, Dave. Uh, I think, I well, think it was. Well, Catanning, you know, they're, they're now, they could get back in this game, maybe chip away a little bit. If they can get a goal here towards the end of the period, uh, 42 seconds left, maybe they can get back and, and reorganize in the locker room. And we know Al Stipp and Jeff Smiles are great at doing adjustments. If they can get that goal, then maybe we can, we can see a little comeback in the third period. I've seen these guys come back from come back so many times over the years in amateur teams and high school games and uh, so nothing that they would do would surprise me and I know they'll keep they'll make it a game here before it's over okay Michael Mercurio is going to grab it for Katanning he's going to lug it up over center right over the line there's, Michael Mercurio takes a big drive and it's blocked in front there's your more moves than a can of worms deal right there that was that was quite an accomplishment weaving through all that traffic. Almost as much traffic there as there was in the parking lot. <laughs> Ron Steedle told me coming in here, he said, it's a, it's a nightmare out there. And a big pile up. And speak of traffic, here we go. Yeah. But the referees are good job by the officials to get in there and break that up quickly. Yeah. Yeah, you always worry about a situation like that, too, because it's... Uh, you don't want somebody to get hurt in something stupid like that. And then, you know, the skates are up. This, somebody yeah. can get cut with a skate or, or a stick. Yeah, you fall the wrong way, your stick comes up. Right. Yeah. So good good order by referee Norm Floss, Billy Robb, Mike Secor, referee Dave Crichton. Crichton uh, has given up a little size on some of these players, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> there's yeah. A, there's a, lot of, a lot of height on this, this ice today. And they're going to have the end of the period here. And uh, Catani's going to go down uh, at the end of two periods. Peter Township in control, 6-2. to two, And uh, Catani's going to go to the locker room, and they're going to have to come up with a big plan here for the third period. Absolutely. You're watching the exciting hockey action on Family Life TV. Catani, your local family station.
Hockey action continues from the Island Sports Center of Family Life TV, containing your local family station. And while we got a moment, we want to remind you that VHS videotapes are available this game. Use your Visa, MasterCard, or Discover and call 724-548-8000. And viewers all over Western Pennsylvania can watch this game on the Family Life website at www.familylifetv.com. Okay, we're back to action here, and uh, Rob Feldovich is going to wind it up for Peter Stonship behind his own net. Shearer's going to move it along and tries to get it out of the zone, but Kellner keeps it in, and a good play there by Zach Kane and Mike Mercurio. Here's Mercurio. Down the slot, shoots! Oh, oh. big save by Kyle Kittleberger here early in the third period. And great, Dave, that's what we're talking about. Here's Lenz. Lenz up with it as Katanning's pressing hard. Katanning up with it. Yeah, they've got Shane Lynch up front. front. Oh, and Kittleberger's going to, and the, and the Wildcats, they want to come out here, and they did. They did what they needed to do, Dave. Yeah, they did, and uh, they they put Shane Lentz up on a forward position, it looks like. I know he played there in uh, amateur hockey in the past, but I didn't know that uh, I didn't know that Jeff had planned to use him that way today. Of course, he may have just been pinching and stayed while uh, one of the forwards covered for him. I wasn't real sure about who was out on the ice there for a second. Well, he, uh, Jeff Smosses has a lot of lot in his bag of tricks. How you doing? Okay, we have a lot of lot of people stopping by. Uh, and uh, Joel Shriver is going to move in to take the face off against Christian Manella. Mike Secor is going to drop that puck. Dave, we hope you got, were able to get a drink in there between periods. Yeah. Get refreshed. Yeah. Here's Eddie Jeremy. Eddie Jeremy walks to the net. Oh, and Manella drop drops down to block it. And a puck's going to go up here in the near stance. Katani's come out here very well in this third period, and they need that one goal to spark them. And I think we, we might be able to get them back in the hockey game. I think maybe so. Hey. With interest rates so low, now's the time to refinance your mortgage or purchase that new home. Armstrong Financial Services Company offers 15, 20, and 30-year fixed mortgages with as little as 0% down on the purchase of a new home. Armstrong Financial Services Company has been helping residents in Armstrong, Butler, Westmoreland, and Allegheny Counties for many years, and they can help you. See Randy today at Armstrong Financial Services Company in West Catanning. Laxon up with that puck, tries to move it along to Schwartz, but a good play by Schneider to break it up. 13.55 <coughs> remaining here in regulation. Here's Claxon with that big frame. Moves it down over the line. Moves it over to Manila. Manila, Schwartz, and Claxon. Big, big, big forward line here for Peters Township. And we're going to have a whistle, and it looks like we're going to have a penalty call, and I, don't, I didn't see the call, Dave. Uh, uh, I'm not sure either. Dave Crichton looks like he's going to take someone off here. And I'm not sure who it is. I think, if I'm not mistaken. We got an elbowing call, and I think it's going to be a Claxon. Yeah, Matt and there's, Claxon. there's the discipline I just talked about earlier in the, in the second period there. That's the thing. you got a, a team that plays a real physical game. Sometimes it's just hard to rein them in. And Claxon had uh, 66 penalty minutes in the regular season, I believe. That was a great, great call on your part, Dave, because, you know, you said he was going to come up with a couple today, and he's already been to the sin bin a couple of times. So now, Gatani needs to get pressure. They need to get back in this game. This is a golden opportunity. Not much time left when you're down four. Got to take, yeah, you got to take advantage of the situation. Okay, here's... Heller up with it, and I don't know where he, what he was reading, but that puck was, yeah. looked like it was down there, wide open. Good play by Schneider to keep it in. I've been the, re very impressed by the play of Schneider during these playoffs. I think the goalie actually faked him out a little bit on that uh, when, he, when he came out like he was going to play it. You give him a head fake. Yep. Okay, Schwartz back to the net, takes a shot, and it just went wide. Nella's going to grab it there, and he's a, a tower out here. Schwartz walks it to the net. Oh, and he just had a chance. Such pressure, shorthanded. Good body control by the Peters Township Indians. Matt Schwartz and Christian Manella. Sarah Catholic in a game before this had a shorthanded goal and another, and another opportunity or two on sh shorthanded situations where they were actually killing the penalties. And Peters Township's doing the same thing to the, to the Wildcats here. Okay, Luke Keller's going to go down to the ice, but nothing called. Manella's going to try to... Good. We're going to have an offside uh, call, uh, uh, Ricky Mercurio, or Michael Mercurio. I, I look at Michael and I think of Ricky, and, and you talk about a guy who was 140 pounds wet, but he was a tower of power. He, he hit like a ton of bricks. I coached the youngest one, Michael. He's an excellent goalie. Okay. Yeah, he works hard. 
So we have some keeps his head straight. He's going to be somebody to watch in the years coming up. Well, we're getting we're getting that radar because you know that's how this is happens, and and you get to see that, Dave. You get a good chance to see that uh, early on in these kids' career. And I'm sure it's real satisfying to to come and watch these kids play in this Penguin Cup today. It is. Joel Shriver back with it. Shriver up with it over the the red line, and he's going to be met there by Brandon Rubio, who moves it back to Cy Bishop. And Peter Steinship is going to keep that puck out of the zone. Eddie Jeremy working for all he's worth on the boards. As he always does. Gets the way pinned. <laughs> Shriver, Shriver, Shriver is going to come in there and he's going to bang bodies and, and throw his 125 pounds in there as well. And Avi, you see Avi, he's ready to yeah. go over there and start yapping and causing some, some ruckus. But uh, that's what Katanning has to do. Katanning has to get Peters a little rod up. They have to get a goal to get back in this game. But uh, Peters has done some great penalty killing in this sequence. Now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, at this point, you're playing for pride, too. And uh, you don't want to run up the white flag. Okay, Krogan's going to clear it up into the Katanning zone. And Adam Toy is going to leave that puck there for Schneider with 12.03 remaining here in the third period. Puck up off the boards. As Katanning battles to get it back to the Peters line. But Krogan and Bishop are going to play catch. And then they're going to drive it deep into the Katanning zone. Navi up with it. Turning clock with 11.48 remaining here in this Penguin Cup regulation time. Papsiak back with it. He turns in his own zone. He gets a full head of steam. Moves it up to Rubio. Rubio in over the line. Rubio makes a little move. Takes that wrist shot. Back to the net and just went wide. Peters Township is so good in the neutral zone. They just they they just make openings for themselves. Okay, Paps, yeah, a couple of that puck. He turns and a good save by Adam Toy. That's a great observation, Dave, because what they're doing is they move that puck wide, but they almost beg you to give them that weak side, and then they just open up the floodgates on the on the weak side. And and it's just maturity, and it may have been that point you made earlier. The tanning's a little, you know, a little nervous. First Penguin Cup. Peters Township has that composure, that maturity, that they're going to let that play develop and make it happen. How many, and, how many seniors does this Peters Township team have? Do you know? Um, how many are they allowed to have? <laughs> <laughs> Good they answer. have lots of them. Good answer. They have a lot of them. <laughs> I, I think, uh, well, I, I think just to start off, I think Schwartz is a senior. Manella, I know he's a senior. Uh, Papsiak, Ru Rubio, McGovern. This is this is a the strong Claxon kid, I think, is a senior. Yeah, Matt Claxon, and I think Kittleberger's a senior. So, you know, they're going to lose a, a ton, but they want to go out one more championship here. Okay, Jeremy picks it up there for Katanning. Go. Up over the line. Good good play by Jeremy to get it up over center ice. Moved into the corner, and Jeremy's going to go down there against Big Shear, and he comes away with that puck. Good play there by Eddie Jeremy. Shear did a nice job to take him away from the net, though. Okay, puck flipped up in the air, and who's going to get it? It's going to be Chris Claxton. Taken away by Corey Bovelina. Nice play by Brandon Beatty to separate him from the puck. McGovern, Harry McGovern the third, down in that corner. And Bovelina, is rep, or Coach Mark Cooper sends out a couple of guys here that haven't had a whole lot of ice time. And Bovelina and McGovern are working it down in the corner with Chris Claxton, who takes a wicked hit along the boards and I think we're going to have a penalty here with 10.31 to go a little undisciplined play there and the younger clacks and I'm sure Brandon Beatty is, is uh, baited him a little bit oh I'd say so yeah and, and, <laughs> and Katani's going to go back on the power play but Brandon you know in the past he would have retaliated that's right now he doesn't that's he's right. showing a little bit of maturity which we're very proud of with, with Brandon Beatty that's so right good, good play there by Brandon he's going to put his team on the power play at 10 31 remaining I think if, if Katani has designs to get back in this game Dave it has to happen right now this is, has to be the sequence. They have to get the pressure. They have to poke one by, by Kyle Kittleberger, or it's going to be a long, long ride home. Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, again, you know, you get these opportunities. you got to take advantage of them. But uh, Peter Township has done a real good job of killing penalties. Okay, Michael Mercurio up in his own blue line. Cleared up too far for Kellner, and, and Bishop's just going to drive it down. Here's Manila. Has that big frame in front of Claxon, and he just shot it wide. But Manila's going to get there first. Katanning trying to get that puck out of their own zone. And it's Michael Mercurio. He bangs bodies with Big Claxon. And Claxon's going to pick up that puck and just move it ahead to Schwartz. Intercepted there by Schneider, but stolen by Manila. And he's just going to move it up to 
to Schwartz, who drives it down into the containing zone. 9.56 remaining here in the third period, and 1.23 remaining in the penalty. Here comes Wade Bowser, full head of steam. Has Mercurio, and a broken stick. A little bit unlucky play there. There's Jesse Shriver, and he bumps. And Claxton's going to bump Shriver, and he's going to tell him, he don't, we don't want you hitting our goaltender. And uh, Claxton held back there. I thought he, I thought he could have hurt Shriver, but uh, he made a smart play to, to not, not do it. Now he's going to get a penalty. And I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm in agreement with that call, but that's a good break for Catania. The Claxton kid is a little bit of a, a man among boys, isn't he? Yeah, he's a big boy. And, and you know, I, I thought he showed uh, good composure there. He didn't retaliate, but he was going to let uh, Shriver know that it's a no-no to come in here and, and uh, test Kittleberger and run him. Yeah. And, and that's that's the respect that Peters deserves because they're, they're going to command it. So now Katanning has to battle that. And they have to battle the fact that they tried to, to, you know, maybe stir up Kittleberger a little bit. But one of the big guys says, hey, you know, we're going to protect our goaltender. And that's, that's a sign of a mature hockey player there. Television is changing, and it pays to go with a local business who's kept up with that change. Roop's Appliances in West Catanning has transitioned for the past 57 years, offering not only name brand appliances, but now high definition television and Sky Angel, Dish, and Direct TV satellite systems. With same day delivery, Roop's is your place to trust in these changing times of technology. Roop's Appliances in West Catanning. Clear it up out for Peters Township. And we have a turning clock, 9.19 remaining. 47 seconds remaining in the containing power play. Rubio, he's, he's battling up there, and he's going to clear the zone. Good play by Brandon Rubio. Zach Kane got a nice hit on him. Zach's just throwing himself around. Zach's a senior. This could be his last game in red and white and black. He's going to leave it all on the ice. Here's Papsiak. Takes a strict oh. shot and a good save by Adam Toys. He put that left leg down and just got it. As Papsiak looks like he wants to turn them Ritz on tonight. It caught him just a little bit off guard, shot through his screen. And that's what you'll find, you know, Papsiak and Chris Claxton. They'll, they'll fake that shoulder to the right, and they'll bury it down in the, into the left-hand corner, or they'll shoot off their back foot. And that's the, the deception and the, and the sure-handedness of this team. That's something, too, that you can't necessarily coach. I mean, you can explain it to a kid, but it's something they got to experiment with, and, learn and, for themselves. And a little natural ability that's to go right. along with it. Okay, Luke Heller's going to battle. Nice Here's pass, Eddie, oh. oh, and he just bit. Heller's going to grab it, and Rubio's right there. A little bit of a chance there. Just couldn't get it through that thicket yeah. of sticks. Okay, Kellner's going to dump it away to the Peters Township line. 8.07 remaining here in the third period. Shearer's going to grab it back. Up to Schwartz, and a good play by Christian Manella to chip it by the defense. Good play by Michael Mercurio to rub him out along the board. Absolutely. And we're going to have a penalty call. And I don't know what that call is. Yeah. Maybe he called a holding. I, I thought that was a great play. I by thought Mike it was McCurry. too. It was all hustle. All hands hustle. down. Yep, hands down, and he and he used, leaned in the shoulder and just rubbed him out of the play. There, there was nothing wrong with that play. I mean, if he if he tackled him, it's one thing. But he had a good body position. Uh, referee Norm Boss, I'll have to have a little talk with him after this game about that call. But uh, otherwise, they've called a pretty strong. Yeah, they there. they have. They have, and. and I'm pretty sure talking to Norm isn't going to do you any good anyway. Oh, Norm. <laughs> Norm's getting married. I have all sorts of stuff on him. Oh, uh, there you go. So, leverage. Leverage. Yes, yes. Hey, when George Capone lifts the house, he finds a buyer. Condo has two stories. Apartments over the garage. Farms. He has it all through containing Realty. Thinking of selling your house? Call George today. Looking for a dream home? George can look through all his listings and find the right property for you. George Capone at Catanning Realty. Blair Green Broker. Also see George for your insurance needs. George has supported containing hockey since the beginning. And, and I'll tell you what, George was one of those guys that used to hang from the rafters up there in the old Armstrong Arrows. I remember him. I had a good friend of mine, Dr. Cost. I don't know if he's still in containing. Uh, you know, I've lost track of him. A uh, fellow that I went to high school with. And uh, I spent a lot of time up in containing as a youngster. So I remember George Capone very well. A very a great gentleman. That explains why you feel about hockey the way you do. Absolutely. You got good roots. Absolutely. But we were a rival of Catanning in my day. Okay, Wade Bowser back for Catanning. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we're going to have a little even up call. And I'll give, what are we going to give Wade on that one? Um, seven, eight. Oh, that's at least an eight, nine. Now, you had him down there at the Belmont pool, right? <laughs> yeah. and, and you taught that, that nice dive. 
and he, he, he extended, good extension on that one. Yeah, you've worked that off the low board. All right. <laughs> so we're going to have a little even up call with Normie Foss. Uh, yeah, he probably felt bad about that last one. ESS Insurance, located in West Catanning. ESS Insurance can provide all your necessary insurance needs. Home, auto, and commercial lines. ESS also offers a wide variety of business health insurance. See Ed, Chip, Walt, or Don for your investment or insurance needs. Proud sponsors of Catanning Hockey and Family Life TV. Catanning, your local family station. Now I remember who you remind me of. <laughs> Bob Barker used to have this guy, Johnny Olson. And <laughs> they used to do the pump. And you were the next Johnny Olson, Dave. I'm telling you, the price is right. It's, I'm glad I found my calling at last. Oh, you're. <laughs> you're take it away, Johnny. <laughs> what do we have for the. the well, test well. 50 years. That's how long Nolte Chevrolet has been in downtown Catanning. Over 100 new and used vehicles ready for immediate delivery. So many new cars and trucks that Nolte Chevrolet bought an additional lot. Need service? No problem. Nolte Chevrolet has qualified technicians and the lowest labor rate of any new car dealer in Catanning. Stop in and see Dollar Bill at Nolte Chevrolet, South Jefferson Street, Catanning. Proud to support Catanning Hockey on Family Life TV, your local family station. Dollar bill. Dollar bill. Dollar bill. Okay. Uh, Dave Croyle up in the truck for us this afternoon, and the, the whole folks from Family Life bringing you the action here the 2003 Penguin Cup. As we're down under seven minutes to play here, and Cy Bishop battling with Joel Shriver. Joel Shriver is like a pest. He won't go away. He's worked very hard this afternoon. Here's Kane. Kane in the goal. Two touch scores. Zach Kane. And with 6.47 remaining here in the third period, Zach Kane, great play by Joel nice Shriver shot. There. Yeah, Joel Shriver, I don't know if he'll get an assist on that. I don't think, but he certainly deserves something. And uh, Zach did a real nice job of finishing. Didn't panic, took his time, made his move, and put it in the net. 6-3. Okay, without mentioning, Max, Max Pizzuto, Tim Lane, adorned with the gold hair this afternoon. We're waving seven, so they get that assist right. Hi, guys. They, they aren't, they aren't seeing us. No. They've been drugged. <laughs> oh no. Scored by number 21, Zach Kane. Okay, Kane's gonna get the goal. Time of the goal. No assist. No assist, but we know Joel Shriver. Absolutely. We're gonna make sure Joel gets an assist on that yeah. one. That was nothing but hard work. He was outside, got tossed around, bounced right back up, and fought for all he had. And, and Scottanning's really showed me something here in the third period, Dave. They've, they've really worked hard. They could have more than one goal. They, yeah. It, it, and they could just, you know, they could just go away. You know, when it's 6-2, you figure, well, you know, the year is over. But evidently, they're not ready for that yet. Eddie Chermy, nice hit. Then he got, that uh, was... Uh, the sticks are getting a little high yeah, now. Here's Jeremy up with it. Jeremy up with it for Catanning as we have a little scrum down along the boards. And well, they're going to get their money's worth. They're going to send Michael Bacurio to the box, and he'd be best to just get in the box. Yeah. Both teams come over to the bench. And I think that's Wade Bowser. Wade's mixing it up a little bit there, trying to get the troops in yeah, here. Yeah, Wade's not shy. Wade's not shy. Wade figure that he would, uh, and this game's not over yet. 5.53, yeah. I've seen stranger things happen. Sure. Bad plays. Uh, we saw in that Sarah game of mishandling the puck, and, you know, you never know what could happen. The tanning has really worked hard in this third period. Jeff Smiles, Sal Stipp, they have to be real proud of this group. And, uh, you know, th there's a reason why they're here. They've yeah. worked hard all year. This team has fought back from adversity. They've had injuries. Uh, Dave, uh, in the middle of the season there. Sure, Zach Kane, Shane Trapp. Shane Trapp's still not playing, even though he dressed today, uh, and he's a big loss. Uh, Zach missed a big chunk of the year with appendicitis. God love me. <laughs> Poor Zach never seems to get a whole year in. Right. Uh, Dr. Kirk Weber is located just west of Worthington on Route 422. And he knows how to not only relieve back pain, but also provide regular maintenance to keep problems from occurring. Gentle adjustments get to the root of the pain, and their staff also provides massage therapy to relax tense muscles. Use the chiropractor many of the Catanning hockey players use. Dr. Kirk Weber, give him a call at 724-763-2222.
Okay, here's Michael Vicurio for the containing Wildcats. In over the line. Take the wrist shot, and it just went wide. Missed that post. McKelvey throws it to the net. Good little play there by McKelvey. Mercurio is going to pick it up there. It's all containing right now. Ooh. Oh, and a big hit there by Shear on Mercurio as he had his head down. And Claxton's going to lug that puck over the line. We're back at even strength. Claxton on the backhand. Take the wrist shot and a good save by Adam Toy. And it looks like Peter Township is going to go back in the box and Katani's going to go in the power play. Uh, I think maybe that... Uh... Our friend, our friend, Mr. Clack. Yeah, our friend, He's Mr. He's to that 66 penalty minute. Yeah, okay. in this game. But he, they're uh, giving Katanning the gate here. I, I uh, don't understand that. Well, you know, that's you raise a pretty interesting point. I think he's been in a box four times today. Three for sure. Who's been in the box? Claxon. Yeah, I wouldn't play him. No, me neither. Because uh, for those him. of you at home that don't know, at five penalties, you're automatically suspended for the next game. And he'll sit for the state final. And that would be bad news because the kid is big and strong and plays that way. And they're going to need him. There's a big out against Holy Ghost Trap. Peter Township penalty number 55. There he goes. Austin. Coincidental minor for high sticking at 944. That's going to be at least four. And uh, for the last five minutes. And that's assuming containing doesn't come back here. You know, still a lot of time left. Anything could happen. And uh, one thing Jeff Smiles shared with me before the game today, that his kids are going to put their best effort out on the ice. And they have, Dave. They've, they they've, have. They've, they've been beaten by some very, very good goals, some excellent uh, stick work, excellent passing. Peter Stotch is the machine. Yeah, uh, yeah. Katanning's young, quick, smart, but they're playing a team that's bigger, stronger, and more mature. And, uh, you know, they should look at this Peter Township team and – develop a model for themselves, a role model, because in a couple of years as these kids, these younger kids grow and stuff, there's no reason they can't accomplish this sort of uh, well, who's, who's efficiency. Our, all right, who's our food sponsor today? Is that Mert? Oh. Where can you go? Where the restaurant owner still makes her own homemade pies, soups, and cinnamon rolls. There's still one place. It's Mert's Cafe, just south of Fort City. Sunday dinners include full course meals, all for one price of $7.75. It's family dining at affordable prices in their newly remodeled dining room. Mert's Route 66 Cafe, between the entrance to Crooked Creek Park and alternate Route 66, south of Fort City. Say hello to Mert whenever you go there. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Puck along the boards over there. Jeremy's going to get it for Katanning. This has been the best line for Katanning this yeah. afternoon here. Yeah. Katanning's almost been resorting to pond hockey at this point. They're so eager to get to the puck. D.R. Warner, candidate for commissioner. Dan Warner has been part of the local landscape for many years. He's been an Armstrong County business builder for more than 25 years, president of the Ford City Business Association, and now he wants to lead Armstrong County in the 21st century. Dan Warner is a candidate for change, running in the May primary for Armstrong County Commissioner. When you go to the poll, remember, Dan Warner for commissioner, a proud sponsor of Katanning Wild Cats Hockey. This announcement paid for by the concerned citizens of Armstrong County for Dan Warner. And half of Armstrong County is in attendance here this afternoon because there's a big, big crowd on hand, standing room only. They're two, three deep yeah. up in the uh, back there, uh, awaiting the upcoming big game between Meadville and Franklin Regional. And uh, there's just a big, big crowd here this afternoon. Great turnout for Katanning. This could be Franklin Regional's year. This could be Franklin Regional's year. I mean, uh, Katanning played Meadville uh, in the preseason and beat them. And uh, uh, now I know Meadville tends to get stronger as the year goes on, but uh, this could just be the year. Well, I'll tell you what, Franklin has really come on in these playoffs. So, And having, that, having coached in that organization uh, a couple for three years, uh, I'm really happy to see because I remember those kids when they were all freshman players and and uh, I asked one of them I said do you remember me and he said no <laughs> I said I get no respect <laughs> absolutely no respect I said you know what there was probably nothing to remember you I was just out there shooting slap shots over the goal and you know <laughs> mucking up the ice so uh, just some old guy taking up space right absolutely filling yeah. filling my uh, filling the ice Hey, okay. well, while we get a chance here, uh, we have had we have some other sponsors that chipped in today, and that was Foodland, which we mentioned, Bauer Funeral Home, White's Antiques in Worthington, and uh, Klingon Smith's Healthcare. Okay, we want to thank all our sponsors this afternoon here for Family Life TV. Okay, oh. 
and Katanning's working to get a, another scoring chance. And there, so those little who, guys again. Guess who? Shriver and Jeremy. Yep. They've they've logged a lot of ice time here today. Puck back to the net, and Adam Toy's gonna. It's it's really kind of funny. Luke Keller's almost cast in the uh, power forward role on that line, and Luke probably doesn't weigh 180 pounds either. Yeah. I mean, he's tall, but he's not big. Well, yeah. th this has been a great year for Katanning, you know, yeah. and, and uh, you know, I don't I don't want to give any swan songs. We have 3:46 here left, but but they've really fought hard through the injuries, and and uh, you know, Jeff Smiles doesn't get a lot of credit. Uh, he and he's done a wonderful job with this program. The kids are enthusiastic. Uh, you guys had a, a real tough spell there with the locker room situation, and, and uh, you know, which I had an opportunity to, to, to visit the Thursday night before that happened. And uh, you know, what a, what a disappointment was for me when Joe Abai called me, and, and that happened. And I'm sure for you folks with the boosters and, and all the coaches, the parents that put all that time in up there, uh, it was very devastating. But this group's rebounded. They've come to the Penguin Cup. They've uh, they proved a lot with the doubters here. Hey, and, uh, they're climbing a ladder. I mean, yeah. uh, two years ago they made it the final eight. Last year the final four. This year the championship game. And you it's, know? it's a process. This yeah. is a process. And and it's we they could go talk to Art McQuillan from Westmont, who's been here for 16 years, and he finally tasted that Penguin Cup. And uh, I think the same could be said for Katanning. I think they're going to get there. And yeah, they've uh, got some talented kids coming up through. Uh, uh, um, Shane Trapp's little brother, Nick. Uh, Joey Ford. Um, Justin Avi's little brother, Zach. Well, that's a Ford. That's a name. Uh, that's a Katanning that's, name. Yeah, that's a Katanning hockey name. Right. Uh, the, Brian Smith. I mean, there, there's kids that are coming up. Uh, littler kids still, even sixth graders uh, that are showing early signs of promise. And, and the I Zimmermans, get, the Costas. Oh, boy. Yeah. And, uh, I'll tell you, uh, one of the great players of all time uh, played for Katanning. I ran into John Yakmak last week, uh, Pat McHugh. I mean, you go back with some of the names, Marty Sanders. John Yakmak ended my men's league career. I played on a line with him, and I never got out of the neutral zone. I figured it was time to retire. Well, Kevin Frank ended my coach's game career because he never passed the puck. <laughs> so he was fired, and I brought in some new guys. Kevin, Kevin Zomanski over here to my left, and Art McQuillan were my new line mates. <laughs> but, uh, you know, John was a tremendous player. And you yes. go back to the Patterson. Nice guy, too. Great kid. Came back to coach. Still helps out. Uh, and a long tradition in, in, in Catanning. And I think that, that tradition's back. And the, the nice thing, I was talking to Jim King about it last week. This program suffered a little bit. It went on the skids uh, in the mid the, the middle 90s. Al Stipp came in. He resurrected. You got the back and ball with the Armstrong Amateur Association. You built your developmental programs, and that's how it happens. That's how it works. And you talk about these young kids coming up. This is going to be the future of containing hockey. But we've seen out here today kids like Eddie Jeremy, Joel Shriver. These kids are ready to take that throne, and maybe they'll carry that torch next year, and Katanning can be right back here for the Penguin Cup. And Katanning, uh, they had initiation or uh, in-house hockey for a long time that was like the breeding ground. Now they've got a learn to play hockey program that has a ton of kids in it. So well, I, I the tradition to, should continue. I, I sat for uh, about eight years with a gentleman who was involved in the in-house program named Bob Copenhaver, an old ge older gentleman. Uh, he was involved in the Armstrong programs way back when. Uh, Jim Wilson uh, was yeah. involved in that. And, and uh, you know, Bob and I had a great conversation all the time about about Katanning hockey about Armstrong hockey and that's where it breeds it breeds from those developmental programs and uh, you guys are back in, in business and I think Katanning's going to be back here knocking on the Penguin Cup door over the next few years. That would be nice. That would be nice to see. Well and, and I'm, I'm very proud of, of, of these kids. They really worked hard here this afternoon. They were down 6-2 coming to the third period and had some chances to get back in this game. They just couldn't overcome maybe a little talent, maybe a little size or, or speed or just maybe the maturity. And that's what you touched upon, Dave. Uh, there was a, there's a lot of maturity with this Peters Township team. Yeah, the Katana kids, you know, they're all bright. They're all polite. I mean, you know, they're the kind of kids that, uh, you know, any organization would be proud to have associated with them. And uh, uh, it's nice to see that that kind of continued too because it seems to for whatever reason 
Must be something in the water. That seems to go right down through the system as well. Okay, Shearer's gonna dump it away into the containing zone, and Michael Mercurio, here comes Schwartz. Schwartz back. Oh, and a good save by Toy. Luke Keller up with it, and he can't keep it. And it's driven into the zone by Manila. Here comes Mercurio, in over the line. Mercurio with a full head of steam. Takes a wrist shot, and a good save by Kittleberger, who's been strong here this afternoon. Heller. Mercurio all over the ice right now for Katanning. Luke Keller is a junior. He'll Luke be Keller, back. yeah. That, another strong player. He'll be back next year. I, I think Kittleberger's been pretty strong in this oh, game. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent hockey. Shear with a big drive, and Adam Toy takes it away. And Brandon Beatty's going to rattle bodies with big Manella, and he may have to see that uh, chiropractor here. Yeah. Manella's got that big six foot two frame. The thing about Kettleberger, too, is he doesn't give up like a lot of a lot of soft rebounds that lay in front of the net. Katani's not getting two and three chances very often. They're getting one shot, and that's it. Okay. He's either sucking it up or playing it away. Schwartz in over the line. Takes a shot to the net. I agree with that. Absolutely. He's, he's, he's real calm back here. I mean, it, it, it's almost as if, and, and you see him, look at the concentration he yeah. has on that puck. And that's what that's what becomes a good goaltender, a kid that's, that's got his head in the game, and he's watching every play because he's thinking about what's going to happen. Yeah, there's a minute left, and, you, you know, you wouldn't blame a kid for losing focus, but you're right, you can sense his concentration even from here. Okay, here's Krogan up with it for Peter Stonship, but they're cotton down, 34 seconds remaining here. And Peter Stonship looks like they're going to go on to their second state final, their second Penguin Cup. Uh, you know, a lot's been said about Peter Stonship, a lot of naysayers out there hoping, you know, Peter Stonship's going to lose, but they've showed why they're the champion here this afternoon. A lot of strength, a lot of strength up the middle, strong in goal, played some pretty good defense when they had to. Uh, they're going to move on. They're going to get either Holy Ghost Prep or, or Westchester Henderson. This is a strong team, Dave, and they look like they're raring for a second state championship. Yeah, they're big, physical, strong. You know, they, they look like, uh, especially there's a couple of guys out there that, that uh, look physically beyond their years. They're a little stronger, a little tougher, a little faster maybe. Kittleberger just, he's way out on top of that crease, and he's just brushing him into the corner now. Papsiak makes a neat little play as he just bumps it up off the boards. Abai's going to keep it in for Katanning. We're down to 11 seconds. 10, and it's almost anticlimactic because Peters Township's going to go on, and they're going to become the Penguin champions for 2003. Peters Township with a final score. Peters Township 6, and Katanning 3. The Peters Township Indians will win their second straight Penguin Cup and will move on next Sunday to take on the winner of Westchester Henderson and the Holy Ghost Firebirds. Dave, this was a strong game. Peters Township came out early. We talked about it. Katanning had to weather the storm. But in the middle of that second period, Peters showed that strength. When it looked like there was a lull and Katanning really had a window of opportunity, Peters shut the door with some quick goals and great, great work down low. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that, uh, that the Katanning kids uh, have a thing to be ashamed of, obviously. Uh, hard work, a little bit of a, it was an accomplishment for them to get here, but now the challenge is to build on that. Yeah, and, and it, again, it's a process. We, we expect Katanning will be back here for some of these seniors. It's a big disappointment, but they'll always remember. I know uh, that uh, I guess Jack Lambert was up to talk to the boys this week. They'll always remember their teammates from this. They'll always remember coming to the Penguin Cup and the ride that they had here. Uh, they have nothing to be ashamed of. And they left their best game on the ice. They battled the, 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 the King Kong, and uh, Katanning Hockey is in good hands right now. And I expect them to be back here next year, Dave. Yeah, I would like to see that. I would truly like to see that. It's a good group. Great group of kids. Uh, Peters Township, uh, they look a little bit excited, but they got a little work left in them. Uh, and, and, you know, one of the things is we saw, talked about the talented players, but some of those kids on the back line, Shearer had a strong game. Krogan, yeah. uh, Harry McGovern Jr., Rubio, who's their leading scorer. Uh, Harry McGovern the third. Harry McGovern the third. That's right. No yeah. relation to George McGovern, because I asked him. <laughs>
I asked them, but uh, we, we had an opportunity. Uh, they won the Director's Cup this year, and they won it with a big victory over Franklin Regional. Uh, this is probably the strongest team in the state at, at any level, and, and I've said that, and I'll say it again. Uh, Catanning battled a real uphill climb here this afternoon, and they accorded themselves well. They played very well late in the second period and in this third period. Yeah, this, this Peter Township team is as good as any high school team I've seen. I've, I've not seen maybe as many as you have, but uh, they remind me in some ways of uh, some of those better Meadville teams from a couple of years ago. Physical and skill. A lot of, a lot of people think. Number four, Lee Hallman. Number seven, Joel Schreiber. Number nine, Brandon Beatty. Number 11, Jesse Schreiber. Number 17, Tyler Oaks. Number 18, Wade Bowser. Number 19, Patrick Schneider. Number 20, Ross McKelvey. Number 21, Zach Kane. Number 25, Justin Avi. Number 33, Lucas Heller. Number 34, Dustin Keller. Number 40, Ed Jeremy. Number 56, Shane Lentz. Number 71, Justin Kovacs. Number 84, Michael Mercurio. Number 88, Shane Troop. And number 82, Tyler Krukov. Can I have security to the back of the scorer's table, please? Security to the back of the scorer's table. And now for the presentation of the medals to the Catanning Wildcats coaching staff. Congratulations on a great season, Catanning Wildcats. Well, it starts in uh, August with tryouts. Number Carries you through exhibition games, regular season. Wraps up, playoffs, and this is what it gets you. Number nine, Dan Krogan. Number 11, Christian Manella. Number 12, Michael Shearer. Number 20, Harry McGovern. Number 31, Michael Papsiak. Number 38, Brandon Rubio. Number 39, Keith Huffman. Number 16, Brandon Tingle. Number 69, Jerry Raymond. 
Number 51, Chris Claxon. Number 55, Matt Claxon. Number 57, Matthew Lazaro. Number 66, Nick Dolichowski. Number 67, Rob Feltovich. Number 71, Kevin Castro. Number 77, Garrett Rooney. Number 80, Corey Bovalina. Number 90, Cy Bishop. And number 91, Matt Schwartz. And at this time, we invite head coach Mark Cooper and his staff to come forward and accept their first place medal. Congratulations, Peter Stonship, on a great season. Good luck in Philly. Somebody has to lose, the season has to end somewhere, but I guess it does. But this is something that uh, no Canadian team's accomplished in quite a while. We can only hope it's the beginning to a reoccurring event. You're watching uh, hockey action on Family Life TV. Catanning, your local family station. And uh, we'll be back with some interviews. championship game. I'm here with uh, Zach Ava. Zach Ava. Justin Ava. I knew it was going to be bad. I got you both here at the same time. Justin Ava and Zach Kane. Uh, a captain, mix of the, assistant. A little captain. mix of the two. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, so, your, your pathfinders, did you know that? You find your way to the championship game so that all the teams that follow you will know how to get here. That's quite an accomplishment, don't you think? 
Yeah, we're real proud of the team. I mean, it's the last time any Catanning team, I mean, they were Armstrong Central back then. Any time a Catanning team made it back was like 91 and 92. And I mean, we, we're really, it's the first time we made it back as a Catanning team. So I'm proud of the team. Zach. Yes. Started out, you have, uh, missed a big chunk of the season with your appendix, but you came back, played like you hadn't been gone from the lineup for a minute. Yeah, I, I tried to do my best. It, it, it didn't really hurt uh, when I came back, but the doctor didn't want me to come back for about two weeks, but I came back anyway. <laughs> nice goal today. Thank you. It was just a little too late for us, but it was, it was nice to get one at the end of my last game. Uh, Justin, that was a pretty tough team you played, don't you think? Yeah, they're a real talented team, and they're a really physical team. I mean, they're probably one of the most physical teams along with Indiana that we've played, and we had never seen them during the regular season, and uh, just trying to get a feel for the game, I think, was kind of hard to, to, to realize that the, the uh, rest were going to call it loosely, and we just need to go out and play our physical game against theirs, and hopefully they'll take penalties, and I think that's what we did in the third. And I thought we really matched them in the third, so... Well, you guys as seniors, I think, uh, set a good example. It's a young team. I mean, there's still a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys left on that team that got two, you know, one and two years left. Uh, so at, at what point did you decide in this game that uh, we're not going to catch them? Let's have some fun. I mean, that always happens with seniors, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we're definitely hoping we can catch them, but, I mean, reality started sec setting in uh, after the second and we just went to the locker room and we said, well, it's, it's about respect now and trying to get back into this game. And uh, basically we said we were just going to go out and try and play our physical game against them. And we were able to get a couple more in. And, you know, I, I really thought in the third period we played exceptionally well. And I just thought if we would have had a better feel for the game in the first two, it could have been a lot closer of a game. And we might have been able to pull it off. So, so Zach, what's next? Um, I'm going to Pitt to study pharmacy next year in the fall. And hopefully I'll play for their hockey team, too. I'm trying to talk Justin into playing, too. He's not sure if he wants to play yet. What are you gonna, what's up next for you? Uh, I'm also going to be going to Pitt to stay for him. See, we went down a couple weeks ago to look at the uh, facilities and stuff. And I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to be playing yet. I'd really like to, but I'm, I'm also going to try and referee while I'm down there in Oakland. Like, because I have so many rinks in a close proximity, I, I think it'd be easy for me to referee and make some money. But, you know, I slide at the how things go, and I'm sure I'll make a decision that I'm happy with. So, uh, in the future, one of the sponsors of these containing hockey games will be uh, Avine Kane Apothecary. Is that right, Zach? Hopefully, yeah. In the future, it's a road, that might be true. Okay. I'm sure we'll rock and, uh, Walgreens. I'm uh, sure we'll rock well, well, yeah, you know. Uh, you know, maybe give our Kling and Smith sponsored the game tonight. Kling and Smith home care. Maybe you guys give them a little competition too. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping. I know it wasn't thank easy. Thank you, Dave. I know it wasn't easy. You know, last game and all, an emotional moment. But you guys have given a lot to the organization. And like I said, you know, you showed the guys coming up behind you the way. Nothing but the best, okay? Thanks, Dave. All right. That's it. Thanks for joining us. Uh, that's it for Hockey for the Year. We'll see you next year on Family Life TV. From the Island Sports Center on Neville Island, this has been the Penguins Cup hockey playoff game between Catanning and Peters Township. This program has been sponsored by Foodland, Bauer Funeral Home, White's Antiques, Kling and Smith's Healthcare, 
Merchants Bank, Shriver Transportation, Armstrong Financial, Roofs Appliances, Catanning Realty, ESS Insurance, Nolte Chevrolet, Dr. Kirk Weber, Mertz Route 66 Cafe, and D.R. Warner Candidate for Commissioner. Patronize these fine sponsors who have supported Catanning Hockey on Family Life TV Catanning, your local family station.